Welcome back to Shady Hubba. Let's just double check my sound. Da 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 da. My sound. Yeah, my sound is working. Yes. Woo! Hey, I'm back. Sorry I've been so long. It's, uh, been a stressful Christmas. <laughs> One of the first times I've actually had, like, a stressful Christmas. Well, no, no, not the first time, but, yeah. From, from having, like, a rash over my entire fucking body, to, like, just crazy stuff. I've been gone a year, yeah, I haven't seen you since last year! <laughs> I'm happy to be back, though. Also, I've been, like, grinding like fuck, and Runs and Hexes is now level 50 veteran mode. Oh yeah. My crafty, my crafty crafter. Crafty. Um, but yeah. I just wanted to do the morning stuff. New life festival is over. So, I need to find something new to do. I just wanted to like, you know, the daily morning stuff. And get back into a, um, into my routine of streaming getting ready for life, and then, you know, actually working and doing good stuff for myself. <sighs> I think it'd be cool maybe to look at, um, maybe sometime this week, um, look at, d do a retrospective over all of the crazy shit that's happened this year. That'd be, like, amazing. I wonder if there's any video, th there's gotta be, like, 2022 craziest YouTube moments. <sighs> best fails of the years, best of the internet 2022. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Sell me, send me a 2022 shit. Ooh, they've got new shit in here. Alright, what's this? What's that? Your freeze will. If freeze will, sorry. Ethereal well. Oh. Stone Lord Great. Panther Fang. Oh, I've already seen a lot of these. Clan Mother. Ooh. Runic. Oh, the Rufal Axe. Axe. Four DLC Mega Pack. Vas is das. Oh, hey, it's a. Oh, it's just it's just the DLC. I get that through um. Singo anyway, but it'd be interesting. Yeah, you know what? I might actually get that for the the four DLC Mega Pack. Yes, that's worth it. Just in case I stop doing uh, it, like the craft bag stuff. But the thing is, I don't, I don't probably won't ever play without the craft bags. So I don't know. I don't know. Wee! All right. Let's provision those materials. I've got four. Huh? It's collectible. Oh, okay. Hughes Bane. I don't know what Hughes Bane is. Pigeon noises! Hey, Pigeon Dante! How are you? Alright. I got, um, runs in, uh, runs in, runs in hexes, um, up, leveled up to, uh, level 50. So I got two level 50 characters now. Oh, the... I'm good. I'm 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 doing better. Like uh, I've been like friggin' struggling with depression over the last week, um, and also like um, you know just the ram ramifications of the stresses of Christmas, all of that shit. Um. Yep. 
I'm still waiting for uh, Battletech to update. I mean, like, no shade against the devs, like the mod, like, so, sorry, Rogue Tech. Rogue Tech is like a giant uh, mod pack for Battletech, which is a video game which I very much love and adore. Um, no shade against them, like, the dev team is, is just incredible for that mod pack, it's just, and it's free, so, like, they're just doing, love, you know, what they love at the end of the day. So, hold on a sec, I'm just gonna use my brain for a second. Helm. Yes, any other one. Whoop! Um, yeah. It's... They've done an amazing job with that, but, um, yeah. I, I, I'm very much looking forward to when that comes out, I'll be playing some of that. Apparently, uh, from what I've heard as well, um, uh, Starfield uh, is supposed to be coming out quarter f in the first quarter, or the first half of uh, this year. So that's, according to, you know, Bethesda, that's that's what's happening. Um, so let's hope that that indeed does happen. <laughs> um, yeah. But yeah, I've set this up, so I try and do my, um, most of my grindy stuff in the afternoons, so that I don't bore you all with this. Oh yeah. Mindset equals mindset. Porn mods for Starfield win. Oh my gosh! They, 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 there's a um, CBBE will um, be in that game, guaranteed. <sighs> yeah, sexy spacesuits. Yeah, hundred percent. They're gonna exist, and I am going to be confused. Happily, happily, blissfully confused. Has anyone seen any good compilations for, like, the year? Well, like, um, I just, I just thinking, like, going back and doing, doing, like, uh, doing a, uh, a retrospective on some of the stuff that's happened this year, like, fuck. Think about everything that's happened, like, sorry, last year, not this year, this year, nothing's happened yet this year. Wow. I bet there's already a shooting. Unfortunately. Damn. I mean, like, I know that, um, I know that, um, Hassan has, so I suppose I can find a clip of him reacting to a bunch of stuff. Um. Uh... I need that. I need to buy a pack. Look, no hands. Aha. Auto run. Auto run is nice, but I wish you could. Uh, I could change my um, sprint key to a toggle rather than, you know. I wish I could toggle sprint rather than have to hold it the entire time. I don't know that 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 Bethesda, please get on this. Watch this. Where are ya? Is 
stopped with rewinds, yeah. Oh, actually, um, good video recommendation for y'all. I just watched it this morning. Strange Aeons um, did a retrospective on uh, Rebecca Black. And, like, Rebecca Black is actually pretty based as a person. Like, she was 13, and she was the one who refused to take down the video. Like, balls. Balls. I mean, it's an awful song. Like, I, I can't, I can't unironically enjoy that song. I will play it to annoy other people and get my enjoyment from that, but the song itself is just not good. Um, look up Friday music video. It's Friday, Friday, gotta get down on Friday. It, it, it's, it's, it's actually, yeah, um, you know what I might do? Hold on. Oh, you did, you, 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 you forgot, hold on, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna find, uh, the, uh, video that I just watched this morning. Um. <sighs> you should definitely check out and subscribe to Strange Aeons, like, she does awesome awesome uh, retrospectives but yeah check that one out that that that's a fantastic video like talking about it and just how yeah how it was how it was all right all right do 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 Oh, I fucking love that song. I'm sorry. Unironically, um, Ilvis, I fucking love Ilvis. Sorry. All of their songs are based. Especially the dubstep one where they're just screaming, I fucking love you in each other's faces. Fucking. Oh, what? Alright, well. Damn it. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. One, two, three, four. All right. I need to do an ice staff one. Honestly, though, some of the sounds that they made do sound like a fox. Sorry. And they also did the yif 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 yif. So. Foxes be like, that's <laughs> yeah, pretty much what fox sounds like when they're happy. They almost sound like a monkey, right? They almost almost sound like monkeys. <laughs> Just watching the game go like <laughs> <laughs> let me know if like the game is like fugged though as well and I'll fi fix it in the market for a reliable mount I am. they're they're illegal so wait if you're a monkey like you get kicked out you get deported if you're a monkey Please, or are we talking about like pets it's very important Cause like, I don't think they should be pets. Alright. Now. Yeah. Pet wise? Well, I don't think it's wise to keep monkeys as pets. Aha! Oh, I'm such a bitch. Love you all. Alright, I need to create... A ice staff with a trait that um don't have yet. One, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. All right. So, powered. Do I have? 
Can I build a flower one? Okay, good. Um, graft. Alright, now I give that to... Whoops. A zabi. Deposit my maple ice, ice staff. And... Ooh. Oh my gosh, all the materials. All the mats. Ah, yeah. What do you guys reckon about, like, having a license to own any pet? Like, literally, you have to do, like, maybe, like, a three-day course or something um, to get, like, a certificate so that you can own, like, a cat or a dog or something, or any any animal, and, like, diff different animals require different licenses. What do you reckon? And, like, you know, certain levels of animals need to, like... Yeah, well, I mean, dogs can be dangerous. It was, uh, like, I, I'm, I'm, I, like, literally with dogs. This is me with dogs, and I'm not, and I'm not, um... Uh... What are you, a soft robes mage? Move it! Like... I, I'm I'm not I'm not uh, joking at all. This is this is me with dogs. Like, <laughs> oh, you're smiling at me. Let me see your body feet. Oh, see it don't spread. <laughs> Dumb and dumber. <laughs> like literally, li that 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 is me with uh, dogs. Um, like I I can't help it. Yesterday, do, do, there was there, there was a dog that was like barking at me, like when I did the delivery yesterday, and I'm like, oh, you want to bite a finger off? And he's like, ang, 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 ang. I'm like, oh, you're so cute. He's like barking his head off at me. I'm like, oh, cutest door alarm ever. But yeah, yeah, I, I am, I am like, my brain is broken when it comes to dogs. Like honestly, I, I, I feel no danger from them um and like i would still probably be like oh as they're like ripping me apart like killing me like that's 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 how i am with dogs sorry <clears throat> um i don't know i don't know why my brain is so broken in that specific way where i just love dogs to the point where it's probably hazardous to my health <laughs> see I even love the dogs that don't love people like also also like the whole thing about um, putting a dog down if they draw blood um, the idea that if a dog draws blood that it's gonna bite again and like that means anything is a fucking lie don't put down your fucking dogs don't don't snitch. Don't snitch. If a dog bites you and it draws blood, don't snitch. It's not worth a fucking dog's life. You fucks. But yes, I would love your dog. I do love your dog. I have, like, I got ten fingers. You know, I got ten fingers to lose, you know? I don't know, dogs be doing what they do. Elvis is the best Christmas song ever, but... But... It will be copyrighted. Unfortunately. Hey, done randomly! I'm Wells! Alright, 23... Wait, 23 days? Oh my fucking gosh. 23 days to research some of this shit. Wow. Oh, that's because it's on the its last legs. Damn. Damn. That no, was got one day left in it. 23 days to do this writ to do this thing. Yeah. Yeah. 
Wait, you're nine hours into a ten... Wait, there's a ten hour... Literally, I pressed the, my pause button because that just, like, made me react so hard. Done randomly, I pressed pause on... and there's not even a video playing because you said that. <laughs> <laughs> That's insane, why? On HP, who's ha uh, like HP? Oh, is HP a person? I I thought you meant like the brand or the company. Um, the thing is, it's it's legal. It's it, it in most countries around the world, like Western countries, like you legally have to put the dog down. The market, so don't fucking snitch. Don't fucking snitch. You scratched yourself. You fell down the stairs. What is it? Don't snitch. Well, what's the, um, some trans woman just- Oh, Harry Potter! Wait, what? Ten hours. Don't snitch on homeless or dogs. You don't, don't yeah. Only snitch when it like furthers when it's when it's praxis, when it's praxis snitch snitch the fuck. Honestly, like, um, you the guerrilla warfare, y'all. You gotta read guerrilla warfare basically, and then like understand that uh, diversity ta of tactics and using uh, what works. Using tactics which work for the situation rather than using um, nothing but uh, your personal morals. Like, when you have a rigid moral framework, it can actually hold you back from considering effective um, praxis. Like Che Guafer, the three month, three month essay. Wait, it's going to be three months long? Oh my gosh. Harry Potter... Six, uh, ten hours, what the fuck? How would you even do that? Like... I Like, I mean, that's impressive. But, but, but... But... Harry Potter's just not that interesting. Saz. Oh, this is the video that you put in the the thing, Popular Front. I don't know who Popular Front is. Who's Popular Front? Does anyone know who they are? Grassroots meet grassroots. Okay, uh, that focuses on war. Go, go deeper than mainstream news. Okay, I'm I, I'm seeing I'm seeing warning signs, but that's not necessarily. Uh, Patreon, funded through Patreon, merch, merch, independent, independent sponsorships. Okay, uh, good. Fast and independent popular front for Sir Jake Hanrahan. Jake Hanrahan. Kurdish. Damn. Damn, okay. Fuck. That guy's been in it. Shit. Anarcho communist, yeah. Uh about everything is different in one joke is big. Near the British woman. Yeah, I mean like yeah, we know this. Wait, what? A broken link? Fucking hell. Oh, that's not a broken link, that's a, um... It's the Times. Oh, it's the Times. Okay. Fucking hell. I'm just, like, much more... Um sus about like stuff that a bit about like um sort of like news organizations 
that um, I'm not familiar with. So. A lot of people in Russia are also victims of the Putin regime. It's not his country, it's our country. We have homemade bombs. Anything we can get our hands on. We resemble the railways. We need to create a partisan organization because in Russia uh, the state operation is very hard. If we won't take those risks now, we won't have future at all. If not we, then who? If not now, then when? Because yeah, um, th so that guy there that you're seeing there, he went to he went um, like. And uh, embedded as a journalist, uh, embedded himself into Kurdish forces uh, fighting against Turkey, <laughs> and got arrested for it. So like, he's fucking real. That's the coordinates they sent us. So right now we're somewhere on the edge of Eastern Europe in the middle of the night, heading into a forest to meet with anti-government Russian partisans. Now they've been launching attacks inside Russia. They've been attacking military recruitment centers and blowing up railway tracks, trying to disrupt Putin's continued invasion of Ukraine. They're taking a risk meeting us, but- Fuck yes. Okay, so like, yeah. I mean, that's pretty based. Like in Australia, we don't, we like have zero um, opportunity to do that, but like, it is it is based and honourable um, to sabotage your own military forces uh, to stop them from invading another country. Like, yeah, that that is that is some of the most based shit. They want the world to know that there's actually a large scale active resistance inside Russia, even though you don't hear about it. That's really cool. That's what I mean. That, that, this is this is this is what I mean by like if you if you're like if you're if if you have such a rigid moral framework that you're not able to betray your own country in order to save the lives of people in other countries, then like yeah, I don't know what to say about you. Like I mean, like I I understand the risk of uh, you know being like tried for treason. That shit that shit's not fun, <laughs> especially not in Russia, especially not in America. It's like we need to we need to we need to stop this normalization of the fact of, of the idea that things are worse in countries um, outside of America when it comes to uh, law, law and order. Um, America is like the worst country in the world when it comes to the treatment of um, criminals, like the worst in the world, literally. So, like, you know, jokes about, oh, I wouldn't want to go to a Russian prison. Prison, Fuck that, I wouldn't want to go to an American prison. That'd be the worst shit in the world. Literally, it is the worst shit in the world. <laughs> I'd rather go to prison in China, honestly. These two are members... I mean, like, when it comes to Cuba and even North Korea and all of these countries, um, it's pretty easy to for people to get leaked information into there. They just pretend to be... Um, they just pretend to be informants and the CIA gives them free money. <laughs> Narco-communist combat organisation, more commonly known by the Russian abbreviation BOAK. BOAK are anti-government Russian partisans. They've been attacking the state for more than five years. They're by no means the only partisan group in Russia, but they're definitely one of the most organized. Yeah, it's actually kind of kind of impressive how many th how many things Cuba beats America on. I mean, it doesn't uh, beat America on like um, like rich people being able to have like nice things, but um, it beats it in every way that you can pretty much imagine. I mean, obviously the infrastructure is suffering in Cuba worse than America. 
Um, but that is a result of uh, the American embargoes. Like, if you ever see you, you you ever see those pictures when people are like, ha ha ha, like Cuba has no homelessness, but look at the houses. Yeah, do you know why they've got houses that are falling in pieces? Because America, because um, the Mexico, um, where uh, Cuba would normally get most of their concrete uh, supplies from, um, won't. Has well basically stopped shipping to uh, Cuba after America imposed the uh, the U.S. imposed embargoes. So no one wants to like uh, have to not deal with uh, America because they have um, because the market is not free. The, the, there is no free market. Anyone who anyone who supports a free market should uh, should should not support uh, embargoes and uh, trade and trade ship and sanctions. Yeah, free market is bullshit anyway. Uh, tell me any modern president who smoked cigars and had the beard all, of all time. I, I I don't I don't know I I know that there was when it comes to American presidents I remember like isn't Hamilton one? Who's Hamilton? Hamilton's a thing. Hamilton you sing songs about. Hamilton wrote the um, Declaration of um, of uh, the First Amendment, right? That's America, right? When Russia invaded this is Ukraine America. In February 2022, Russian partisans quietly stepped things up a gear. They launched dozens of effective sabotage operations against Kremlin infrastructure. Boak, a part of this network, which consists of around 30 different cells. These cells hey, are very Wait, wait, wait. Was that right? Wait, no, wait, wait. What, 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 what brand was that? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Just, just. Ukraine in February 2022, Russian partisans quietly stepped things up a gear. They launched dozens of effective sabotage operations against Kremlin infrastructure. Boak, a part of this network, which consists of... Hey, hey, right, I was right, it was Ravi. <laughs> oh my gosh. I think... ...around 30 different cells. <laughs> infrastructure. Boak, a part of this network... Hold on, hold on, I just consists... this. There we go, go, hold on, hold on, hold on, I need to send this. Uh, um, Boo will like this one. Uh, I just need to take. A, I just need to take a picture. Yeah, I'm that much of a boomer that I take pictures of things on my screen. It's just because I couldn't be bothered opening up Facebook and screenshotting shit. Much easier just to send a picture. Of around thirty different cells. These cells have varying diverse political ideologies. But... Fucking trains, yeah. Supply lines. Supply lines. I mean, I do screenshot. I do have software installed. Like, it, it, um, if, if you like, if you like, if you want to get better at screenshotting and not having to edit it on the fly, like, um, install GreenShot. So basically, what that does is it allows you to screenshot um, uh, parts of your screen rather than having to screenshot everything, put it into a editor, and then edit it to the size you want you can literally just like just like basically drag and drop we're all united in their goal of destroying putin partisan attacks have been taking place all across the country from moscow yeah. um all, all, but but uh don't be a dick don't derail a fucking train um anywhere near residential area okay just just don't do that don't do that. The collateral damage from that is just no, no. Do not derail trains in 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 like areas where people live because you will kill so many people. It's fucked. In the west to Vladivostok in the far east. In the past twelve months, there have been over eighty anti-government attacks inside Russia. Boak have been the spearhead for many of them. Uh, just just a moment. Uh, it sounds like. Okay. Can you explain the actions? Like, what are the main things you've been doing to disrupt Putin's invasion? We um, disassembled uh, railways, which leads to the artillery uh, warehouse in the Moscow region. It uh, delayed uh, supplies of this uh, kind of military cargo cargo to the front, so it uh, gave to the Ukraine. I hope not, because. I, I say, here's the thing, like, if Russia collapses, the 
the amount the level of neoliberal um shock um shock shock reforms that that will be applied against the people of that entire fucking re region just make me want to like blow my brain out or like in minecraft you know like the human suffering from that will just be incomprehensible like you gotta understand like that shit is will fuck everything up to just a ridiculous degree. Now, just let me think. I need to do a specific dungeon. I think it's Spanish Cells. Yeah, it's Spanish Cells, I'm pretty sure. Spanish Cells? Hold on. I'm build. I'm doing a particular build. So, yeah, another neoliberal nation. Yeah, yeah. All all we need is is another neoliberal nation. Um, uh, like hemming in uh, China from the north. Fucking nope. It's already. But the thing is, though, those neoliberal shock doctrine reforms have already happened. Kind of like, um through uh, Gorbachev's um, and uh, sub sub subsequent uh, subsequent um, regimes like but just 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 the excuse to it's not it's not the reforms itself it's the fact that the the, the real thing about shot the um, neoliberal shock reforms right are just it is the absolute ransacking of everything valuable from the people to corporations and uh yeah the excuse to put those into place will just just destroy so many lives it's it's actually quite fucked i need to i need to get the ring of the wild hunt but Jailbreaker is what I need. Uh, Jailbreaker, Banished Cells 1 and 2, Antiquities, Mythic Item. The Mythic Item. Hey. Uh, so I need to do those two. And I also need to find the um, Antiquities. Uh, I need to go to solitude. Yay! Let's go. I got to do a lot of grinding. People, more time to prepare for the uh, communism is the only way to make sure the Russian people don't suffer. Uh, yeah. That we need to well, I mean, like because in Russia uh, the state oppression is uh, everywhere. Hard, so you can't uh, use some uh, I know, legal methods uh, to do some step by step uh, changes. Even if you do some. Uh, so-called legal actions uh, anyway you'll go to the jail so if you go to jail well to do some which is not so effective we are attacking the state uh, at this time to make it uh, weaker to show people that we can do it we as people people of russia people of all the world we have this power in our hands and it we is possible yeah them the state they are small and we are uh, there's mm -hmm. a lot of us and the second uh, direction which we are uh, developed since then is a coordination of uh, such kind of attack, partisan attacks, uh, all over the Russia. Recently we published, uh, I think, maybe... Yeah, I mean, like, here's the thing, like, um, vanguard socialism, like, I, I see, I don't know, I, I, I really would love to be in a position where I can do, like, a lot more academic study into all of these things, because, like, you know, I'm anarcho-communist, like, I don't... I, I the only reason that I would support a vanguard uh, socialism um, is because it's the only thing which has actually been effective in any kind of way, pro provably effective in any, in any real way. Um, but like, it never seems to. It has not really evolved to 
past Vanguard to communism before. Um, but yeah, um, and so that that's why I'm skeptical, and that's why like I think that um, we as anarcho communists need to be a part of um, any Vanguard party um, to be the ones who say, well, no, fuck this. Um, you, you, you are, the, this, the power is too concentrated into this one spot. You know, like we, applying, um, anarchist ideals to a vanguard party system is going to be the most important thing. A uh, vanguard so socialism, um, that's, that, that's basic. Vanguard socialism is a, basically the vanguard party that, um, seeks to deconstruct, uh, it, it's China and it's, uh, the USSR. Basically, America, corruption, and the collapse. Yeah. So how do we learn from those things and do it better? And I think we can do that by trying to deconcentrate power the the the, the best that we possibly can. Was China? I mean, like, yeah. Again, not my area of expertise, unfortunately. I'm, I wish it was. I just need to blow my nose. I need to get something. So uh, I'm just going to hit the back soon. But... And I'm back. Uh, the reason why I'm like iffy about like making any solid claims over whether China is a vanguard party or isn't a vanguard party or like you know all of that sort of stuff. China's doing better with a controlled market system than America is with a free market system. That is, yeah, I would fucking love that. Yeah. Do you mean on stream or just like privately? I don't mind either way. <sighs> All right, let's continue this quest. More than ten attacks from uh, many different regions. Uh, we help uh, small partisan cells to find out how, how to make attacks, uh, help them with uh, supplies to help such small partisan groups. Uh, and it's working because uh, more and more... Uh, uh, it's increasing. It's increasing, yeah. And they make making more and more uh, serious attacks. For example, uh, <sighs> not a long time ago, they bombed some kind of a military, rails, uh, military railroad near the Ukrainian border. So it, our power is not uh, in that one small group can do, but uh, that uh, we have a lot of small groups and all together we can change things. So you guys have been around before the Ukraine war started, or at least since the invasion started this year. Um, but that's when you've got a lot more known, I think, online. We're seeing that you guys are actually doing attacks inside Russia and in Belarus. Very dangerous thing to do. Um, what is it that, you know, spurred you guys on? Why are you doing this? Why are you taking such a risk to basically attack Putin in his own country? Uh, because it's not his country, it's our country. And, uh... Are you listening? Are you listening? You're like, hey, y'all in the US. It's not Biden's country, it's your country. It's not Trump's country, it's your country. Like you, the people, that's that, that those are, you are the most important thing about your country. Without you, country doesn't exist. Uh, we are attacking this because uh, we, this is the only way we see uh, we, we, we can act in such uh, circumstances because we, d we can't do nothing, uh, we can't do legal things, and uh, this partisan attacks can make um, military machine of Russian state. We uh, cut the supply lines, we, uh, we uh, attack the military recruitment centers, so uh, the, the army becomes weaker and as it uh, was very often in Russia and many other states' uh, history, when the state lose war, uh, there is open, uh, the window of possibilities opens for the people of this, this country. And also post-COVID um, post, uh, as well, there's a lot of... Um, post-pandemic, there's, there's the most possibility of... of getting 
through that. And in terms of like solidarity with Ukraine, are you doing this to help the Ukrainians as well or just for yourselves? Like, are you in contact with Ukrainians or is this just like a movement you guys are doing yourselves? We, of course, we have contacts. Uh, we can't, uh, of course, uh, say what exactly contacts. Yes, but yes, we have contacts with uh, uh, different, uh, and not only anarchist organization, in uh, all ex USSR. And, uh, and other countries yeah, well. also yeah and uh, we and, and we discuss our strategies and we uh, somehow organize uh, our actions together to make them more effective as well we try to um, provide information for those uh, other groups which uh, don't yet know how to do things and don't yet have uh, funds enough uh, for supplies because even <laughs> gasoline costs money and they don't have money and uh, as well uh, Near the start of war, uh, our group organized a few attacks, like uh, on a mobile uh, tower, uh, cell towers uh, near Ukraine border. As we've seen from the Telegram channels, the kind of underground, there's definitely a lot of attacks, as you've said, as you've been doing. Um, how big is your organization? Because it's hard to tell. How how prevalent are these attacks inside Russia? So there is uh, mm -hmm. well, two or three. Uh... Well, yeah, yeah. Post pandemic, I mean, like uh, when endemic. After post pandemic would be now when it, which is endemic. Uh, uh, dozens of affinity groups and everyone has a different uh, number of members. And uh, what about geography? Uh, as we know, uh, partisans ex uh, from the Kaliningrad, the far west of Russia, to the uh, Vladivostok, which is uh, far east of Russia. Uh, and all almost, over Russia, yeah. yeah almost all, yeah. almost in every big city and even in small ones. Specifically being anarchists, but being partisans is extremely, extremely dangerous inside Russia. You're taking a massive risk doing this kind of stuff. Um, some people are going to see this and go like, why? Why would you take that risk? If we won't take those risks now, we won't have future at all. Are you not worried? You're not scared of getting caught? <laughs> but uh, we are. We're not uh, stupid enough to yeah. not be. But it's much more scary to live knowing you, that you had a chance to change something and you didn't. And uh, see us, uh, these uh, who are in power, uh, killing uh, our people, killing people of Ukraine and uh, making the world worse and worse with every day, with dangers of nuclear war and so on. We, we just can't. Because if we do it now, uh, we can, maybe we will not have the future at all. Not only in Russia, but all over the world people on the internet they'll see what you guys are doing and they say oh you guys are cia operatives <laughs> and stuff like this um particularly like westerners that actually support putin now you know what it's like living there under putin um you know what, how would you address that what would you say to those kind of accusations <laughs> i think uh, if we would be cia we'd, uh, we would uh, act uh, more effectively but uh, we act with uh, those forces with those resources which we have we're trying to increase them but uh, when said that it's time it's a process uh, from uh, zero partisan attacks to the uh, full partisan war <laughs> so if we were, were CIA we had a lot we'll ha we would have a lot more resources somehow yeah we well, like we have homemade uh bombs or anything we can get our hands on or, 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 or even um, uh, speaking about resources which we used when we uh, assembled railways we used a uh, simple instrument which we could be bought in uh, yeah, hardware store Carosola. we are showing people that uh, they can just go to the store and buy those tools and do it themselves it's not just you know us uh, doing some stuff with some uh, specific uh, materials you can only get in the dark net. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How do you get the information? Like, how do you know which railway to blow up? Which, you know, which cargo train is going to have what's needed to stop? For our attacks, we use Wikimapia. Uh, it's a uh, Wikimapia.org service which provides a uh, description for each object on the map and every ca everyone can contribute to it. So you just open it and you find, uh, okay, military object is here, it's doing something like that. That is its photos and people who did it, they, they didn't do it for us. They just did it because uh, you want to share this information. information and you just can take it and use it. So, so the internet is really helping you guys? Of course. Uh, but, but of course, uh, we need to... Uh, a lot of scouting. Yeah. Scouting? Yeah. yeah. Like you, you check out the footage? Of course, yeah. yeah, of course. Many we, times we, before the attack. Sounds really well organized. Uh, we do it for a lot of years. <laughs> I know that anarchists, specifically in Russia, have been tortured quite a lot if they're captured for anything. Um, what do you think would happen yeah. to you guys if you got caught? For sure, we're going to be tortured as well. If we will yeah. be... If, uh, if we will live enough, because uh, we uh, not are not planning, going, not planning to... Uh, get caught uh, and leave. defended. Yeah.
uh, because <laughs> it's better than be tortured and uh, maybe you gave some information. Uh, we don't give any information on our comrades and when you are tortured it's hard to say when you would or would not you break. You never know how yeah. you react to and torture. So it's, it's better to prevent this by dying fighting. Does that mean you have firearms? <laughs> if you want to do a revolution you can do it without firearms. If we even won't have any firearms on us at the right moment, Knives? Uh, yeah, you, yeah, anything you will find because yeah. it's, it's, it's all better than to be uh, in Russian prison. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's a chance someone in the, the Russian state is probably going to see this documentary. Um, and other people are going to ask, like, why, why are you doing this? Why are you giving us the interview? Why do you want this, this information to get out there? We think that it's important that uh, people see us not as any, some internet warriors, but also as a uh, lead person with their concerns, with their, uh, to the, uh, we want people to uh, hear our voices and uh, to hear what we can uh, we have to say. We don't want uh, people to think that we are some shady organization, uh, but we want them to see that we are real people just like them. Yeah. And just like mm. uh, us, they can do things that we do. A lot of it is online, but there's, there's definitely a perception that all Russians agree with the invasion, the destruction of Ukraine, what Putin wants to do. Um, obviously, people like you are very clearly, you know, a small but effective resistance against Putin's policies. Um, what, do, what do you think about that? How would you respond to that? Is, is it in the country? Are more people against it than it would seem or what? There are a lot more people against it than uh, it seems. Uh, because uh... also you'll have to apologize i have to apologize if i'm like my concentration seems split at the moment um i i've, I've forgotten that i'd completely changed my moods my moveset so like i uh don't actually know um completely what um i don't i don't um have my um muscle memory for my um uh, button mashing right now because uh, the tactic has gone from just hit the buttons in order to um, I need to pay attention to how many times I'm hitting versus like uh, I've got I've got a new ultimate that I can't remember what it does which I should probably look at it's soul shred ravage all right so I can use that in like a group which is pretty cool pretty sick uh, ability to be honest uh, so I definitely need to start using that more also have like yeah they're not morphed yet either so like i need to morph them so that they're actually more effective i don't know i need to do a lot of shit that uh i think i i'm not even attacking the right people at this point i'm a trying I'm a train. I need to learn how to use the um, bow as well. So, the propaganda yeah. shows only people who agree with Putin, and many, many people don't agree, uh, and many people just, just silent because they're afraid to lose their jobs. If you uh, you beat dog every day then uh, some uh, day it uh, will not uh, react to it because it will think that you, I live like that, it's uh, normal. It's normal. You're, you're so as we see, uh, a lot of people in Russia are also victims of the Putin's regime. At the moment they just uh, don't think that if they speak up, they'll change anything. I yeah, I mean like when you push when you push your people to the point where like they, they, they don't even feel like their voice actually matters, um, that's when you start like getting to the point of like not being able to wait where the hell is the boss gone what there's a boss oh okay there you are oh i died waiting for the battle to end okay our main message is that people shouldn't just sit and wait that someone else is gonna do anything for them they should uh, take their lives in their own hands as we often uh, repeat if not we then who if not now that when thank you very much in russia yeah it's, <laughs> it's, it's a um, sign of disrespect if you don't uh, take off your glove uh, when you um, take someone's hand yeah. really yeah okay. well yeah <laughs> thank you very much thank good you. luck with everything yeah. Yeah. it's very good thank, thank you, you so much as Russia's war on Ukraine approaches its 12th month, Russian partisans like the ones we spoke to continuing to disrupt Putin's war effort from within. Organizations like BOAC are fighting an uphill battle, but still their attacks have been effective.
Several military trains have been derailed, and word of the Partisan underground is spreading. Yes, jailbreaker. Whilst there's next to no Russian state media coverage on this, the Russian government is clearly aware of it. Security <sighs> around train tracks in Russia has been tightened, and a Russian court has fined the Telegram app for allowing Partisan networks to share information. Not to mention yeah. the uptick in unexplained fires. Yeah, that's one of the other things as well. Like, you, we really got to protect our social media organizations to be like, to to like allow people to communicate properly when they're, you know, when when um, why is that not working? Come on, there we go. I am so terrible with this build right now. <laughs> This build is so bad. Well, like, the build is good, but, like, I'm, I'm terrible at utilizing it. Ow. Why is this... Why is this clan fear beating the shit out of me? Sorry. This is... Alright. I think I've gotten into, like, a... A better level of um a pat a better pattern i just need to find the pattern and then i can just do it like without really thinking too deeply out across the country even though putin's government acts like they can't see them they know the partisans are there That is, yeah, that was an interesting um, documentary. Like, I feel like I'm not doing it enough justice by, like, being so fucking distracted by this game. <laughs> but, like, as you can see, there is a lot going on right now, and this is a build I'm unfamiliar with, so... Uh, apologies. I'm basically trying to level this shit. I'm here simply to level... And I got a trophy for that. I think I did it. What's that? Uh, the plan. Ah, I should check someone for signs of life. Okay. Okay. Completing the quest. And I got the, the skill point. Okay. Everyone's gone? Where's everyone gone? On your 
All right, so let's check out this and see if I got see if I got my what the shit that I need. I need the jailbreaker jack. I definitely need that, which is sweet. Um, yeah. I'm pretty sure it's a jack I need for that one there. Um, is it the jack? Ah. It's not the jack I need. Fucking annoying. Uh, jailbreak. I got two jailbreaker jacks as well. That's hilarious. The two things that I don't necessarily need. <laughs> Lol. Alright. At least bind them. So I can... Hey, high elf style. Nice. Um, Marcus Junk. But yeah. Didn't get the jailbreaker gear that I wanted, unfortunately. That is... Lame. Um, damn. So I need to get better at, like, doing this. I'm just waiting for um, the game to kick me from the map at this point. I think I need to... Hey. Yeah, leave instance. Okay. That's how I do it manually. We learned something new today. Yeah. But obviously, like, that shit's dangerous to do. The little Westerners keep acting like actual Russians don't suffer. I mean, that's true. Like, people don't tend to like to talk about that sort of shit. Alright, we're doing antiquity. We're doing an antiquity. Uh, journal. Antiquity. Wait, what? Talk to Verita. I think I need to redo this part of the thing, maybe. Talk to Verita Numida. Numida. Back. Okay, no? Oh, okay. Oh. I already know how to use it, so like, I don't really need to do the quest sort of thing. But my bow is increasing, at least, which is a good thing. <sighs> An assassination increased to 45. Yeah. 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 I don't know. Using using this the, using this current war to like hi to like shield yourself from criticism of being racist uh, is kind of fucked. I'm like, gosh, the Ru Russians have had not had it fucking easy. Really? What do they say? What are the kinds of things do they say? Like over here, that most people don't care because we're in Australia. Because Australians don't give a shit about anything really. Um. Oh, that's right. I need to find out. So the vesture of Dalok Bray is the Ellis Weir Overland. So. I need to go to Ellis Weir. No one cares about Australia. Yeah, only, only you should only care about um, the um, the First Nation Australians. 
Only care about those. Okay, Northern Ellersby, I should have, should, they should have, like, friggin' mentioned that. Oh, there's no, uh, I don't have a, uh, thing to go through, go to there. Alright, well. I can, I guess, go up through there. Full mount! I don't know when uh, occurrence was when Russian, what the Russian lady was talking in her phone in Russian, someone spit at her. Fucking hell. Yeah, that's pretty fucked. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Get some help. Stop. Get some help. And, uh, don't, don't be spitting at, like, Russian, my, my little Russian lady. Don't be spitting at my little Russian lady. She is so beautiful, yes. She is so beautiful. She, you be nice to her. She is not married yet. Will she get married? Who knows? It is perfectly up to her. Just as long as you be nice to my little Russian lady. Ah, <laughs> uh, I love these trees. A lot of the time in MMOs, you can like forget that like she marry if she wanna marry is big step in life. She marry if she wanna. Marry is big step in life. I have no Mary. All I have is Gimp leg. I have Gimp leg, nothing else. No, I'm being. I I, I actually do have a friend for it who was uh, born in uh, Russia. They they they're based as fuck. Eh, Ellerswear. That's right. We're going to Ellerswear. Taking the hops to Ellerswear. Hmm. What? Yeah, fuck. I have gimp leg. I have gimp leg! I have limp. I have limp. I have gimp in leg. It give limp. Alright, I'm in the overworld now. I'm gonna do the scrying thing. If I can. I don't know if I can scry in this area. Where is the scrying shiznizzle? Scry. Antiquities. Hey, I do. Faded Kajit. Faded. Ooh. Ooh, this is what I need. Why can't I scry? My skill level is not high enough. Uh oh, I need to skill up! Alright, time to skill up. It's gonna be fun to do. Alright. Is this. How many turns do I have? Ooh. Aha, I did it. I'm good at the scrying. I mean, there was a Russian Ukrainian dog who castrated. Fucking hell. They are less than human. Wow, okay. Oh my gosh, the, this scrying area is right across the other side of the map. That's hilarious. It's time to go. We go across the map. Alright. Nobody looking? Aha. <laughs> Guess who's back? Back again. Shade is back. Tell our friend. Little fox is back. Tell your friends. Hey. Such a mess. It hurts your teeth. Oh, it, it, it's such a mess. It hurts. It hurts my teeth. <laughs> I hate it so much. My teeth are aching. Oh, what the fuck? I thought I fixed that. I thought I fucking fixed that every time. It's this crafting stations. Yeah, fucking hell. I thought I fixed that. It's annoying. 
Da, 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 da. My teeth, brain. Mmm, my teeth. I'm just wondering, do you reckon I should do, um, I should start, ooh, what's that? Dagger back. That kills. <laughs> Good night. Do, 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 do. Do. Do, 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 do. The pure water. The skull is just filled with teeth. Very true. Mm. Happy New Beer. Very true. Very true. Alright. Oh my gosh, there is so much to pick up here. So apparently, like, the armor pieces that I'm looking for uh, drop from the over... Just, just from, like, fighting creatures in the overworld here. So that's, I guess, oh, what I'm going to do. Haha, -ha, yes. While also collecting all of the shit. You're turning 18. You're going to be an adult! Well, truth is, no one ever actually grows up unless they, like, put some effort into it, so I wouldn't worry too much. Join the cool old people club. But they're all old people. Oh, oh. Are those wolves? They look like friggin... I'm not entirely sure about this build so far. Cool old people being leftists, yes. Join the con- you are now comrade. Okay, so it's making a little bit more sense now. Before I was young comrade, soon I am old comrade. Very true. Da na 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 na. Ooh. Pew pew. <laughs> It's a completely different dynamic to what I'm used for, from what I'm used to with uh, this build because I, I would normally do um um like five like like one one light attack one thing like just it, it's different. But I'm getting used to it now. Starting to get used to it, but I don't still don't like it yet.
My DPS is very low with this with this build, but uh, I need to I need to level it, I guess. I just want I saw a... Oh, there it is. River Troll. River Troll! Doing reacts, relaxing. Yeah, oh, I can do some reacts as long as as long as they're like interesting, I guess. Gosh, that took ages, and I didn't even get anything from that. Lame. What a douche nizzle. What did I get? Have I gotten anything cool? Absolutely nothing. Fucking lame. A necklace of Sanctuary? That's awesome. I definitely want to put that on my other characters. Uh, that might be a little bit much for me. Why communisms will never work. Wait, what? Oh, hey, buddy. So. What's this? Commun oh, why communism will never work with doc Dr. Paul Kangor. Who the fuck is Dr. Pa Paul Kangor? Dr. Paul Kangor. Dr. Paul Kangor. Political, pol poli sci at Grove City College, private Christian liberal arts college. Okay, so that's... Yeah, okay. F has focused much on his work on Ronald Reagan, faith, and the presidency. Conservative politics, the Cold War, the communist movement, and Catholicism. Okay. He is also visiting fe fellow at the Hoover Institution of One War, Revolution, and Peace, a conservative think tank at Stanford University. Okay. Uh, the Heritage Foundation. Okay. Uh, yep, we, yep. So, uh, shill. Basically a shell. Yeah, one thing that's oh struck... no, it's the pints with Iquanas guy again. Fuck. Me as a layman reading the Communist Manifesto was okay. So you've got the proletariat who are okay. So like Communist Manifesto, if that's all you've read about communism and all you understand about communism, I think uh, yeah, mm. much more numerous than the bourgeoisie. We are going to take the private property of the bourgeoisie and somehow inherit it for a time. But if there's a lot more of the proletariat than the bourgeoisie, you're not all fitting into their private property. So who's kind of agreeing to live in the nice places while the other... What? Okay, so already, like, this guy has no idea what uh, private property is. Like, yeah. That That's... That's not how that works. I mean, yeah, but it's, it's it's a pamphlet. It's an introductory pamphlet. It's like, like, you wouldn't even use it, like, in a, um, in, like, an environment which is, like, academic. To, like, it, it's like, it's like, um, Biology 101, you know, like, can, when, when starting a topic, yes, it's a good introductory into the topic, but, like, there is so much more literature on the topic that has been done since then, it's just, like, not, uh, it's, uh, State and Revolution from Lenin, also, so you've heard, yeah, definitely, like, there's so much there, there's so much there. Um, but yeah, so private property, private property, right, is is the means of production. So that's talking about um, the the pri private property is not personal property. So he's talking about um, 
Wow, that guy is fucking tall. Um, he's talking about something which isn't actually, like, what it means. It doesn't mean, like, literal property as in, like, housing property. Yes, you could include private property in that, so, like, landlords and stuff like that. But, like, if you want to have a look at what this... Like, we have examples of what this looks like in real life and how it works. It's it's social housing. It's public housing. How do we decide? We have a mechanism in place which which basically houses people in necessary neighborhoods to do work that they want to do, um, and we cooperate with each other to uh, move on like that way. Um, you can look at countries like Cuba. You can look at the USSR. You can look at a lot of European, um, like even even like capitalist European countries, which have in implemented um, public housing from you know the USSR days and kept it around because it works so fucking well. How communism works. Gritty is the way. <laughs> yes. Capital. I love how he's just like in the background going ha 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 ha. No, you need the manga version thus. Max being the go. Sorry, I, I fucking love that. I love that video. Others choose not to. Right, and, and the and point is, the practical application isn't there. And especially Terrible. turning down something... Yes, it is! Yeah, that's a um, yeah, yeah th there are countries that do this. I mean, Cuba for one, and other, like, capitalist, capitalist, com um, capitalist uh, places which, which still implement um, stuff from back then, like... Oh my gosh, this is this, this this build is so slow, but I will fucking get better at it. Promise. Ugh, that was excruciating. But hopefully I pick up, like, what I need. Anyway. Attractive. Let's blow this thing up. Yeah. In but fact, then you, how do you build it? How do so you using it? these definitions, I would say in America today, there's more bourgeoisie than proletariat. Especially if you're defining bourgeoisie as, as like, the owning class that these people are doing. Yeah. I, 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 I mean, would, far more people in what? America. Are... What, are you, what are you fucking talking about? It's not talking about whether a person owns a house or not. Like, it's not talking about that. That, that. This is completely a misrepresentation of, like, everything that Marxism is. Like, it's it that that's not what Marxism is. Ugh. Owners I'd be, and private I'd, property I'd be owners. Class. Yeah, Neil is my proletariat. Yeah, right. He's your he's your your wage slave. Unless he hires somebody. But then... but but Neil owns stuff. Damn it, right? Neil. Oh and my gosh! Be... 
Ah, capital communism is when you don't own things. No, that's per that's that's personal property. My fucking gosh, you, how, how I don't believe that they've read Marx. I don't. If they don't even know the difference between pre like it talks about the difference between personal and private property in the fucking manifesto. Like if you can't, if you have a like that little um like literacy ability to read a pamphlet about communism, no wonder you're fucking confused. Holy shit! Yeah. It's just like owning the means of production doesn't like that doesn't uh, doesn't make you bourgeoisie. Oh no, yes it does. Yes, sorry. Owning the means of production is what makes you makes you um, bourgeoisie, not like owning a fucking house. Fuck you, you fucking idiot. Couldn't do that. As soon as he becomes a homeowner, is he a bad guy? Is he part of the owning class? No, that's not right. how it, it fucking so, works. So in America today, the bourgeoisie so defined in these, these crazy categories might be a lot bigger than the proletariat. There's not that many people even that, that, that are... That are working in the steel. I, I drove across the bridge coming, uh, the Allegheny coming here today, right? Those old yeah. steel mills, are, they're shut down now. Yeah. Uh, you know, a, a lot of them are working at home on their computers and their laptops and homes that they own. Here's the final. Thanks to capitalism. Here's the final. No, not thanks to capitalism. I'm sorry, but like a lot of the computing, computer stuff that you have is um, based on like, wait, what the fuck? Why is there, why is there some, oh my gosh, is there, there's a fucking dragon. There's a dragon. Holy shit. Yeah, like, the, thanks to capitalism. No, that's thanks to, like, government. That's thanks to the government and social... That's thanks to the government and, like, social shit. Like, um, uh, like, taxes and, um, and, like, socialism, basically. Capitalism didn't invent the mobile phone um like government grants did um government funded uh, exercises like nasa like worked together with uh, nazis and communists in order to like give you the things that you enjoy today like if you're going to attribute uh capitalism anything um like capitalism did to uh you know give you your mobile phone well you can thank capitalism for um child slave labor that goes into building all of the things that you enjoy uh using i mean that's 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 the truth of the matter when it comes down to it right but yeah like the the, the nice things you own and if you're going to attribute anything to capitalism uh, and thank capitalism for, you can thank capitalism for the child labor that goes into um, constructing the stuff that you enjoy and use today. Honestly, I would rather live in a shithole house that's full crumbling to pieces because uh, because of American sanctions than like um, that then then have to rely on fucking child slave labor for the nice things i enjoy and like if you disagree with me on that like i guess that's just on you um and your values for you care about the things you own more than you care about fucking child slave labor i guess um, these people complain even if you was naked because you breathe in a capitalist society. Yeah. Everything good is because of capitalism. Everything bad is because of communism. Um, I'm sorry, but capitalism gave us Nazis, so uh, fuck off. <laughs> fuck off. Well, didn't give us Nazis, but uh, capitalism is happy to utilize um, Nazis as part of its shit. From the DSA. Um, we want a democracy powered by everyday people. Yeah. Yeah, again, that's got to be yeah. me. That, well, def I'm definitely one hey, of those. Hey, that sounds great. Yeah. The capitalist class tells us we are powerless, but together we can take back control. Yeah. Well, do they know uh, that Lenin was a big supporter of democracy? And um, Engels was a big supporter of democracy. 
In fact, let me uh, give you Lenin's definition. Lenin said, uh, democracy means equality. He said. Say that again. Demo democracy means equality. Okay. The Belladad, who was um, a member of Communist Party USA, said, oh, yeah, democracy. They always talk about that, meaning communists. She said, when the communists talk of democracy, when the socialists talk of democracy, they mean economic democracy. See, we what? hear that and we think, oh, yeah, founding fathers, man. Jefferson, what? freedom of speech, freedom of press, Bill of Rights, right? But Lenin what? said, yeah, I support democracy. Democracy means equality. Democracy is of enormous importance to the working class in its struggle against the capitalists for its emancipation. But democracy is only one of the stages on the road from feudalism to capitalism and from capitalism to communism. And Engels yeah. said, said, said this, democracy would be wholly valuable. Like, whenever Lenin was talking about democracy, he was talking about um, the democracy that he was talking about the democracy that was... Um, that that was uh, practiced by Western nations, and like a lot of the time, he was criticizing the way those democracies worked. If like, correct me if I'm wrong, but like, that's the gist I got from reading Lenin. You know what I mean? Like from reading Lenin, like State and Revolution, right? Um, it seemed like whenever he was talking about democracy, he was criticizing the false kind of uh, democracy that uh, America, um, like. America was um, was was a part of, which seems like a fair fucking criticism from my point of view. That's wrong. Okay, well then, like I have no idea what I'm talking about. But they're talking. They, but they're doing something here, which is kind of like sneaky to me. Like there's that they they are, they're talking about how Lenin said something, and then they're quoting someone different who's talking about economic democracy. They're not defining what de economic de democracy is, um, and they're just sort of like making it confusing to the average listener in order to like say, oh, that's scary, and I don't understand it. Basically, that's that's effectively it to the proletariat, get this, if it were not immediately used as a means for putting through measures directed against private property. So they wanted to use democracy in order to go against private property. Mm -hmm. that's, yes. that's how they saw it. Oh, and, okay. Well, okay. Um, Okay, so so they're just saying uh, based things and then say and then acting as though they're not even doing they're not even doing the smart thing that I said. They're just going to say like the normal thing, and then say that it's bad. He even talked about America. Ingalls did. In America, where a democratic <clears throat> constitution has already been established, the con uh, sorry, a republic has been a representative democracy and a repub well a shitty um representative democracy which still uh, like uses uh, unelected officials to like um basically make the rules um like i'm talking about the supreme court here um to have the final say over how things work which honestly that just seems like a really bad fucking system to to exist from my perspective. Lenin would not support America over for, against the British. Okay, fair enough. Okay, I've got a better kind of like idea of like um, the pattern I'm supposed to be going for. I still don't particularly like this build. I might change it up a bit to suit my own needs. But communists yeah. must make common cause with the party, which will turn this constitution against the bourgeoisie mm -hmm. and use it in the interest of the proletariat. So yes. democracy 
and even like our Constitution, are tools to be exploited. So American yeah. communists would sit there before the House Committee on un American Act. This guy's acting as if, like, um, they're not tools to be exploited right now. Like, what do you think that people do with... What do you think that the... the do you think there's no exploitation in, like, the Republicans stacking the Supreme Court? What? Yeah. Says something about not supporting a reactionary state to overthrow, overthrow another one. Well, what does he what does he uh, suggest then in in opposition to that? Because like, uh, I guess yeah, I need to read more. And and the, they'd be asked, "Are you now or have you ever been a member of the Communist Party?" And what would they mm -hmm. do? They'd cite the Constitution. They they'd invoke the Fifth Amendment, mm -hmm. the right against self incrimination, which yep. made anti communists furious because they knew these guys were literally sworn to the Soviet Union, and if they ever took over what? the United States, the first thing they were going to put through the shredder was the U.S. Constitution. Mm. So they use these things as a okay. temporary means in order to do what they want to do with their larger project. And you're acting like you don't do exactly the same. What? He's literally doing the Democratic argument right now. <laughs> he's like arguing like a Democrat, but he's like arguing on the right. He's talking about, he's talking, he's talking about uh, diversity of tactics and the, um, basically using the Constitution against against itself to in order to um he's talking about mccarthyism basically and how people would plead the fifth in order to avoid uh being charged with communism and all of it, like and and all of that sort of shit you know like that sort of like freaking bullshit stuff there um and and it's hilarious because like your your republicans do that all the time making like frickin like using using like loopholes in law to in order to take away women's bodily autonomy and all sorts of shit like yeah yes i'm going to use um the system in order to like get my needs met that's life dude how old are you are you like a fucking child? Y yes, you use the fucking rules of the land against itself. Uh, if, if you don't, you're just a fucking idiot. Thanks so much for watching. Please. Oh, that like was it. That was it. So basically, what we have is um, him saying he, he made the claim that. Um, that uh, democracy, he didn't even like define what economic um, equality meant. Um, so, which is fucking dumb, to be honest. Like, and they don't. Oh, hello. What's this? Pelotine. I don't know what that is. Hey, Rajan. You're okay. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what this this thing means. <sighs> All right. This is commie stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's the what I was gathering. Like, see, I thought he was trying to twist, twist it, but like he wasn't even doing that. He was just saying commie stuff. That they would put the. It was also like saying the opposite of what the Heritage uh, Foundation claims over and over again. The Heri everyone from the Heritage Com uh, Foundation makes the claim that America is not a democracy; it is a republic. So, like they 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 love to they love to fall back on democracy when it suits them, and then claim that it's not democracy if if like it suits them as well. Almost as if they're using the system against itself in order to get their needs met. Uh, really just redundant bullshit. Um, all right. Ow! Ow! 
Ferret's new video? I haven't. I can always put that on after after I finished. Um... Ugh. The fuck? Oh, there he is. quit this game. I'm going to take a quick break and then we are going to watch that video and I'm going to figure out it. Fear of trans bodies? Oh, I've seen it pop up on my, um, on my suggested theme, 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 feed. Um, but yeah, I'll have a look at that all in a minute. So don't go anywhere or do. Either way, I'll be right back after this short break.
Welcome back. All right. Sorry. So I'm um uh Bill is trying to convince me to play Cyberpunk. The only problem being is the current 50% off offer is ends in 17 hours. I don't think I can uh, I I don't think I can Ain't the game awful? No, I don't think so. Wait, why is my... Why is the sound off? Oh. Sound wasn't working. Okay, it's on again. Yeah. So... Okay, cool. Oh, apparently it's not, no, no, like, I, I've heard that, like, every, from every, every person I've spoken to about the game, who has played the game, has told me it's amazing. Like, it's an amazing game. The company is dog shit. <laughs> the company sucks. Um, but then again, like, what company doesn't? Like, there is no ethical consumption under capitalism, after all. Um, this was the trans bodies one. It's half an hour. From someone, there we go, who's that? From Lily Alexandra. Alexandre. What was the other one there? There was another one, wasn't it? There was something else someone said about something. Is it just that one? Oh, Ferret's video, that's right. Yes. See, my memory sucks. Sick. Love. Maybe, who knows? The Lion King is Marxist. The Lion The how could the Lion King be Marxist? Yes! Support the original creator! Like and subscribe. I better be subscribed already. I'm sure that I subscribed. Yes, I subscribed. Like and subscribe and... Algorithm. For the algorithm, comment... Then click through to find another video, play it in the background with volume oh, at full, I knew this was going to... and mute the tab. This is how you increase people's views in the algorithm. So, oh, and, oh yes, no, no, the share button, I use the share button. So use the share button, use the, the like button, you subscribe, you comment. And then you click through to another video that they've made. Uh, make sure you don't put it on mute in the um, in the tab, but you mute the tab in the uh, thing um, there. And that's the same for um, Twitch streams. If you mute the if you mute it in in the app, then uh, it doesn't count as a view. But if you mute the tab that it's on, it does. <laughs> But yeah, that's, 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 basically you need, it, it, every interaction that you, um, make with a person's page, um, increase, like, that basically tells the AI something. So, like, basically, the only thing that, no one really knows how the AI works, but if you give, um, if you're giving the system more interaction nodes, then yeah. Yeah, yeah, that was the video that I uh, reacted to as well. Lion King. One of the best loved animated films of all time. The highest grossing animated film for nearly a decade. An award winning score. The source of a number of rather insane legal cases that still haunt Evil Mouse Incorporated to this very day. And The Furry Awakening for many a millennial. It's one of my personal favorite Disney movies. 
while at the same time I recognize that it isn't actually a good movie. The characters are one note, the plot is simultaneously simple and inane, and I wouldn't be the first one to criticize its problematic morals. If I made a video about how Scar is clearly the bullied victim of Mufasa, and the hyenas are stand-in oppressed minorities who turn out to unironically be the ruin of the Pride Lands, and Simba is- I mean, like, when it comes down to it, there is a whole bunch of, like, um, oh wait, when was- when was it, uh, made? I think, uh, when was The Lion King made? I- I can't remember, but, like, I think- pretty sure that they were still on the Russia phobia at that stage, so they were, like, doing the boot- the boot- bootstepping and, like, all of the, you know, nationalist, um, stuff. But yeah, like, the- 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 the whole, uh, it- it- there is- there is definite, like, anti-communist messaging behind the Lion King, but uh, I'm interested to hear this. Of course, the great person who needs to save the day, literally because of his birthright, where a throng of lady lions couldn't do it without him. Yeah, it doesn't look good. Looks actually pretty bad. Plenty of other YouTubers have gone into it, so if you're like me, it makes it hard to enjoy the movie, cause even while you're jamming to Elton John's masterpieces or having lurid lioness fantasies, in the back of your mind you know you're basically watching furry fascist Totes never had that. propaganda. But what if I told you that there was another way to look? Come on, the way the way that Simba just like freaking when Simba grows up, far out. Handsome. Let's consider Scar. As adults with a- Well, yeah, I mean, like, from the perspective of- it, it, It's from the pers a very Western perspective, when it comes down to a very Western perspective of communism and misunderstanding, because it's the idea that, that- There is the idea that the hyenas were the proletariat, whereas the lions were the um, bourgeoisie and, like, the idea of basically, like, Things magically got better and worse, uh, depending on whether, like, the bourgeoisie basically owned the property. Um, without the, the messaging is kind of like, yeah, pretty, pretty out, pretty, pretty blatant, to be honest. The idea, it, it, it's like you could, um, you could, you could look at the Lion King from the view of the, the, the fallacy of the tragedy. Pardon me. The tragedy of the commons. You know that one? The idea that, you know, if you allow it, allow the land to be, like, spread amongst the people, basically, blah, blah, blah. So the, the idea of, um, oh, like, Disney has always had this, this, this relationship with the monarchy in that the very, the, the rightful ruler mentality and that things will be good as long as the rightful ruler. Yeah, Ferret's point is better, though, because it makes it make sense. Maybe, yeah. I mean, like you can you can argue these things from any 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 lens. There's so much you can say about Disney in general, like and the way that they um, put put uh, royalty up on a pedestal. The idea that um, there are rightful rulers is a very fucking fascist um, message in that throughout all of their um, movies. <sighs> the animal researchers for Hein is. Hated that Disney ignored all the info they gave them and just used the trip to be able to draw them better. I mean, what did they expect? <laughs> Not so black and white view of the world. We often find they did draw them very well. Him. He's the small, scrawny, ugly, brainy, and beat up brother of Mufasa. Mufasa, the king, the big, strong, hyena smashing machine that we're meant to be rooting for. With this sort of character on its face, in a modern film with more complex characters, we would expect Scar to be, at the very least, heavily nuanced, if not, you know, actually the good guy. A champion of the downtrodden, a force for change as he builds himself back up from being beaten down over and over again, overcoming his trauma. So why don't we see that in The Lion King? We could chalk it up to just bad story writing, for sure, bad messaging, but we can look at things another way. What other heads of state do we know from history who were also beaten down, ridiculed, considered outcasts in society? Like, like someone who volunteered for military service during their nation's largest war and never actually saw action. Maybe they applied for, I don't know, art.
art school and they were straight up told their art wasn't good enough. Mm. Maybe someone that the Lion King's narrative aesthetics actually make explicit comparisons. Well, see, that's my po that that's my point. Like the 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 attempt was a criticism of communism, whereas it actually came down to um, conflating um, fascism w uh, w and uh, fascism with authoritarianism. Like the amount of criticisms levied at uh, Stalin for things which weren't his sole fault is the same as the criticisms leveled at Trump and at Biden. And when you look at the when when you look at a governor, government is more than their fucking president or their leader. Like the starvation that happened um, in both China and in and in uh, the Soviet Union had a lot to do with experiments that went fucking wrong, coupled with wartime rationing, destruction of uh, supply lines and of also of supplies by bourgeoisie um, insurrectionists, and also of course the all-encompassing um sanctions that the entire western world puts against you immediately every time you decide not to uh, go with neoliberal um economics like those things all combining into one it's not just like a guy saying you get you starve you go to the gulag like that's not how politics works i mean it's nice and simple when you put it that way but yeah this is the view that the American schooling system gives of the USSR, which was not the case. In reality, in reality, it was... Since two. Okay, this is where I hit a snag. If you're an evil mouse corporation and you want to rail against the inclusion of the proverbial hyenas of the first world and explicitly support the idea of a soul well, yeah, savior true, of which a nation, does it. But um, America does it on other countries <laughs> rather than their own, so that they don't have to suffer. You don't then explicitly liken the villain to Hitler. Or if you do, at the very least, you put words in their mouth that explicitly address the problem at hand as progressives do. We, the hyenas, <laughs> have been excluded from the Pride Lands when we should be living alongside them as equals. This might seem counterintuitive, like, how could you make that seem like a bad thing? until you remember that the right has been doing this forever. Before yeah. The Lion King, it was making desegregation seem like pure evil. Today, of course, it's this huge scare around gender and LGBT equality. And it's always about the children. The Lion King had the perfect opportunity to show that the hyenas are separated from the Pride Lands because they eat cubs. When Mufasa was warning Simba about the Shadowlands, he could have said, son, there is where the hyenas live, and they love nothing more than the taste of lion cub flesh. But he didn't. He just said, It doesn't belong to us. It's outside our territory, and we stick to our territory. And when Simba and Nala go to those Shadowlands anyway, and are themselves attacked by hyenas, the narrative could have gone towards the hyenas going after them because lion cubs are delicious. But it turned out that they had mm, to be yum, 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 yum. by Scar. Yummy, Explicitly. yummy. Let me reiterate. Scar yummy. had a pack of hyenas. Scar had two helpless lion cubs walking right into their territory. And Scar still had to actually tell the hyenas, Here, please eat these. That tells me that, sure, while the hyenas are literally starving, and hyenas in real life will of course kill and eat any lion cub they spot unattended, these ones are leery about it. It's at least partially not in their nature to murder cubs. And the narrative has to actually jump through hoops in order to make that clear, when simply not doing so would have made it more effective for right-wing propaganda. Furthermore, when Scar does take over and everything goes to heck, it isn't really clear whose fault it is. The lioness is also I don't I I I I got it I got it I got Cyberpunk. It's downloading now. I don't know how long it'll take. It's gonna take a while.
It's going to take eight hours, nine hours to download. Holy shit. Really? Nine hours? Like that. Say that the hyenas have eaten everything. To download the dirt girl dick. Oh my gosh. I'm going to have to, I'm, I'm going to have to do, do I'm going to have to, um, do the character creation, like, off stream. Oh no. <laughs> tells the actually equally starving hyenas that the lionesses have been refusing to hunt. At this point, meet the hyenas look tasty. I thought that the hyenas looked cool. The bad guy's toadies being sympathetic comic relief. And the bad guy making it clear that he cares about oh. no one but himself. So, in The Lion King, the hyenas are pointedly not the antagonist. Scar is. And what makes him the antagonist is his lust for power, which he gains through betraying both his own species and the species he has tricked into taking his side. Uh, yeah, see, I understand that it's much more... It, I understand that the point is that um, that um, Scar is much more like of a fascist... Well, Scar is a fascist, he's not communist at all. And he's you well actually yeah like I guess I guess you could make a point that um, the Nazi Party um, used the uh, used the uh, aesthetics of um, communism in order to get into power and then yeah yeah no no yeah no, no, I'm 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 going with this I'm going with this yeah this makes sense so now but the thing is like this is all you can't forget that this. This is exactly what the American and Western schooling system teaches us about communism. This is why so many people, like not just, like not just, like especially I think in uh, places like Poland and Ukraine, Ukraine especially teaches um, uh, from memory. Like I believe that their, their schooling system teaches that uh, Nazis and communists are exactly the same thing. Like, yeah. So yeah, I hope. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That neither I'm of the species in the yeah. Lion King are the antagonists. That the antagonist is a lion, but does not lead the lions. He led the hyenas. But yeah, the People's Party. Betrayed. Yeah, the, wh who are the people? <laughs> people is 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 us and not they them. Lead them. We must. Mount they them the army. What this means. That is. If we are to take the Lion King as a metaphor and read far too much into it, which we most certainly are, it's a Disney movie. Lions, of course we are. Who are the hyenas? Are the hyenas, as many have seen the mass, an oppressed Germans. minority segregated from lion society? Mm. No, no. The, the 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 hyenas outnumber the lions. Our answer to this is going to be complicated. The answer is. Kind of? Chicken run. As I pointed out, they aren't a minority in a piece of reactionary propaganda because they aren't exactly vilified. And they aren't a minority in a piece of progressive propaganda because they don't hold paws and sing songs with the lions in the end. So is that it? The Lion King is apolitical and boring? That's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Nah, nah. Let's have some The Lion King is about kings and queens and shit. Of course it's political. That's politics. Fun with it. There are different ways of being a minority in society, aren't there? In the United States, black Americans are a minority, a visual minority who are- Oh my gosh, by the way, there is some bitch that lives nearby me, I don't know where, but, um, she's got a fucking, she's got, she's got, um, she's got a gollywog in the back of her car, and it shits me. Like, I have seen that. I've also seen someone driving around with an iron cross on their, like, decal on their fucking back window. And also I found someone with, I found a, a car with, um, yeah, I'm not saying the word again. Look it up. Someone else can help. But, um, it is a very racist car, ah, oh, you know what. This thing. Played by. What? Yeah. Um. And and you know what a, you know what an iron cross is. Yeah. Also, I've seen um uh save our children. Um. Uh, the Eureka flag with uh no sorry hate hands off our children.
Yeah, no. I disavow. I disavow. And also, I saw a, a little... I See, I don't know whether this is um this was just a buddhist symbol but on the front of a car um there was a tiny little red uh, swastika but it wasn't on an angle so i think that's the buddhist symbol but still that's just like oh, it's so sus it's so fucking sus so fucking sus Rest. but what about say the ku klux klan are they a minority they aren't a visible minority, but they do form a socially constructed niche that lies outside of the hegemony. Let's dial it back a bit, away from the explicit racism. Are homeless yeah, folk? Yeah, I think the red one is just a Buddhist symbol. I'm, but still, workers. but still, just 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 err on the sa side of caution and not do it, especially not in a col in a colonial state. A minority. Once again, I I'm sorry, but. If you go, even using the Buddhist symbol, if you live in Australia, not okay because people don't understand nuance. They aren't a visible minority, sure, but they are oppressed, and they do therefore have a tendency to overlap with visible minorities who are also oppressed. Yeah, black homelessness, black unemployment, black drug addiction, black prostitution are at higher rates in the United States than they are among white people. Yeah. People within these social categories, though... The Nazis ruined more things people, than Adam did. ...also tend to overlap with reactionary movements. What do the Freedom Convoy, the Proud Boys, and the Brown Shirts all have in common? If you said they're all violent right-wing organizations, you're only... They're all, like, the, the leaders all uh, base their things on gay stuff, like, to start with. They, were, they all like loved doing loved um, show tunes and uh, dressing up in ladies' um, clothing. That's that. That's something that's similar. Only partly right. They all also recruit very heavily from those groups I just mentioned: the impoverished, yeah. the homeless, and the precariously mm -hmm. employed. Yeah. This particular overlap between the far right and the destitute means we have a group of poor people who used to be, or think they ought to be by right, better off and who will both accept any reason they're given to why they aren't, and take any bit of power they're given regardless of from whom. So if you take a group of them and say, oh, I don't know, just murder those lion cubs and make me your king and everything will be fine. Don't think too hard about it. Just listen to teacher. You'll be my personal army and you'll never go hungry again. They're pretty likely going to go along with you, right? There's actually a term in Marxist theory for this group of people, and you'll hear me bring it up more in other videos. As was I this, this is kind of what you were talking about, um, uh, Pigeon Dente, when you're talking about um, uh, Lenin talking about replacing a reactionary uh, country, um, a reactionary government with another reactionary government? A term we really ought to be thinking about and developing further. They're called the Lumpen Proletariat, literally meaning the ragged working class, the proverbial rags that have been torn away by a changing society and left to scrounge and leech what they can to survive. I wouldn't use the word leech. Before I go on, <laughs> I know what you I know what you're trying to say, but still that 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 that's the worst existed. worst word to use. The first one was only established in 1870. There's a negative connotations to that and and also it's been, it's been used a lot to in like um you know iron randian sort of like thought to talk about the proletariat like they're, they're not leeches that they, they are the ones who deserve the most help and support in and society what we think of as welfare today didn't really take hold as a mainstay in the industrialized world until after the sorry Bolshevik that's just Revolution. me being nitpicky so when we're talking about the it doesn't take away from his main point parasitical we're not talking about being parasitical on the government we're not talking about welfare queens. We mean people who prey on the working class. Violent criminals, scammers, people given in to a culture of poverty what? where their roughness is celebrated while Wait, 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 wait. are we going further into this? Hold on. Ah, I thought that his point was different from Although that. Today, wait. It didn't really take hold as a mainstay in the industrialized world until after the Bolshevik Revolution. So when we're talking about the lumpen proletariat being parasitical, we're not talking about being parasitical on the government. 
we're not talking about welfare queens. We mean people who prey on the working class. Violent criminals, scammers, people given in to a culture of poverty where their roughness is celebrated while simultaneously insisting themselves better and more deserving than others. So when you hear the word lumpen proletariat in a modern context, think duck dynasty or swamp people. The lumpen proletariat are unintelligent and proudly so, living day to day, roughing it, and in the same breath, wanting, knowing they deserve more. I still don't agree with using the word, um, using parasitic as a word. They're not, they're just not parasitical in the sense that in the same way that um, the bourgeoisie are like my only problem um oh that's interesting you bias for swamp people because of childhood friend i haven't watched either of those things i'm aware of duck dynasty as something which is like you know like i am working class i've worked flipping burgers i've worked as a tradesperson i've worked um as a support worker i've worked in amongst so many different types of people i've worked with people who are practically homeless i've spoken and hung out with people who are homeless like interact with people not once would i ever call the people that comrade ferret is describing as parasitic because it is society that has failed them not the other way around there are material reasons why these people are the way they are and i just don't think that using terms like leech and parasitic go anywhere towards solving these kinds of problems i could be wrong i just this is i guess a disagreement point for me when it comes to talking about these issues like reality tv is reality tv duck dynasty and swamp people like is got that like there is going to be a particular message being sent about these things like there is a story behind honey boo boo that you don't hear about there are you know there, there's that there, like hey the luminati is fantastic for talking about some of these things around um you know um i what was one i watched recently of her of theirs um that was uh the biggest loser like all of these things have different stories behind it like i might be missing the point here i just yeah it it bothers me when we use language which has negative connotations to it and like you can't argue that we look at words like leech and parasitic as negative things swamp people duck dynasty people farmers the people who are proud of their unintelligence they were the first people that Che worked with in order to create a revolution. They are the backbone of revolution. We should be working hard to create material support networks for people who are the most disadvantaged in society in order to actually create a movement so for the steel workers and farmers yeah i don't know criminals be doing the things they do because we have systems which reward them for doing the things that they do calling them parasitic or leeches is always going to create uh, a moral baggage on people's lives which stands in the way of coming up with solutions to real problems in my opinion but yeah by merit of who they are simultaneously they're an oppressed minority and they're also easily bought for reactionary movements when someone comes along and throws them that bone and says 
Yes, you do deserve more, and if you follow me, do as I say, and don't ask too many questions, I can get you everything you want. They take it. And so and so, what's the solution for for this stuff? Like, I know we're do, we're, just, we're just looking at the thing in into the Lion King. I guess I guess I, I need to move away from my my sticking point for this because this is. And I, and I don't and I'm not saying that Comrade Ferret is calling like people dumb and stuff like he's using terminology which is like used in in Marxist literature. It's just terminology that I don't identify very well with because of my life experiences with um, the most vulnerable members of society. The hyenas. Like when the problem is education. Are the lumpen proletariat. And honestly, like, the lions brought this shit on themselves for not, like, educating hyenas better and treating them better and giving them better opportunities in life. <laughs> and that's the same thing. If you, if you tread on the most vulnerable members of society, eventually you get what you deserve. And Scar is what Clyde Barrow... A Ooh. political scientist who has chicken Run is an insanely good communist media. I would like to watch the Chicken Run one. The Chicken Run one sounds really cool. King. I do love Chicken He's Run. Napoleon the Third. I don't want to be a pie. I don't like gravy. He's Adolf Hitler. He's Donald Trump. Mm. He's these people who come into power on the backs of these downtrodden reactionaries, bought with promises or just power and mm. money, who enacts the reversal of social progress under the guise of helping the real oppressed people of the country to take it mm. back. And then, of course, ditching them when it suits him. Napoleon III gutted the National Guard out of fear that it would turn against It's him. very good. Hitler did the same, if much more violently, with the brown shirts. And Scar, of course, turned blatantly against the hyenas in The End of the Lion King. But does this make Scar a fascist? Crucially, Scar isn't a nationalist. He isn't all about lion supremacy or the position of the private. He's a reactionary. The world. He certainly creates animosity between the lionesses and the hyenas, but this is a reactionary. Doesn't qualify him as a fact. He's, he's Dave Rubin. <laughs> Scar is Dave Rubin. <laughs> he's certainly an authoritarian and a reactionary, and I think what prevents him from realistically going full fash is the lack of progressive opposition. Fascism is always a reaction to something specifically to the rise in popularity of socialist ideas. So to me, Scar isn't a fascist, but the antagonist of the Lion King. Actually, no, 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 not Dave Rubin. It's um, uh, Stephen Crowder. Could, uh, like, just, just, just imagine, like, hold on, like, just, just imagine for a second, like, um, Scar talking with uh, Stephen Crowder's um, voice. If you follow me, you'll, you'll never, you'll never get a home and go hungry again. Prove me wrong. Progressive opposition. Prove me wrong! <laughs> Fascism is always a reaction to something, specifically to the rise in popularity of socialist ideas. Look at my children's book! I've got my gun in the corner of the picture! So to me, Scar man, isn't a definitely. fascist, but the antagonist of The Lion King is definitely a right-wing Bonapartist. He makes a few concessions here and there, but ultimately just cares only about remaining in power, whatever that might look like. Whew. Okay, that's a heck of a lot of time talking about everyone's favorite yeah. character in the series. But what about so the pro the pro the, the, pro the problem with um, the Lion King in any Disney movie is that they do remove every bit of context that you could possibly have from the story, like the like the fact like you can talk about how Scar is a the Scar can be like a uh, stand-in for Stalin or or um you know uh. Mao or or Hitler or any any like person viewed as authoritarian by the we by Western governments, right? Um, but one thing you can't do is actually look at the way the systems interact with the um, with the uh, people involved. Like we don't get any sort of like. We don't, apart from, I guess, uh, Timon, uh, Simon, Timon and Pumba, like, we don't see any of the rest of the proletariat there. We don't really see any other than the three, um, the three hyenas who seem to just be not very informed, uh, about all of these things. It's just, like, a lot of this stuff, 
um, you can't do a in-depth analysis because there's no depth to the Lion King. There, there just isn't. There is just very surface level political views. The idea that communism bad, authoritarianism bad, and that the rightful ruler must be on the throne, throne. like you see this in Lion King because as soon as um, as soon as uh, the rightful ruler is gone from the land, suddenly bam, magically everything's bad. And then once the rightful ruler comes back into play, bam, everything's good. No explanation of how that happened. It's like fucking magic. And I can't remember who was talking about this. Um, there was it was a video essay I was um, I, that I watched about this issue where they talked about these issues. Like, like it's basically just magic. Hey, Nola for the Rin. Ooh, ooh, what up? It's good to see you. But like. I would have uh, loved to see them actually fix up the land. Like, I would have loved to see them explore the reasons why hyenas were more likely to become fash. You know what I mean? And not just reduce it to hyenas dumb and bad. I, I, you know what? That's that's what it is. That's why I don't like um, the idea of calling um, uh, anyone in the proletariat parasitic or uh, leeches because it just ig ignores it to me it just ignores all of the material um the material uh effects upon this particular group of people De derail your yeah sure drama fill drama me up antagonists where does that leave simba what about mufasa well I don't know, but they oh, can't come on, come on. Roasty Toasty Princess. That's probably the most the closest to the most based that um Disney has ever come is like regis like they almost had regicide in one of their movies. I don't know. Was, that that was in that was in the second um Lion King movie. And that was pretty cool. Mufasa. But Mufasa I'm happy to derail it. Daddy. That's all we know about him. Especially in this drama, I'm a drama-loving bitch. And his role is the carrier of tradition. And the story seems to revolve around passing that role to Simba, and Simba resisting it initially out of anxiety over leaving his new life for his birthright. birthright. This new life is exemplified in Timon and Pumbaa, two other protagonists, who are, by definition, also lumpen proletariat. Fox Look, didn't like, literally, of literally became a cop. Yeah. to any sort of productivity, glorifying their own subsistence living. Hakuna Matata, that jazzy song. I mean, like, I mean, like, if you ever want to like look at the anti anti communist and pro capitalist messaging of Disney, just like um, Zootopia is like absolutely like neoliberalism in a nutshell. It, it's basically like, uh, it's like, let's ignore all of the social issues and let's, 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 uh, let, let's, uh, like Zootopia paints paints like minorities as aggressive and stuff in just just it's it's a bad metaphor Disney if it's a fucking bad metaphor like seriously uh, but like the way that the the the, the like yeah Beastars did do better they did it. So Ian Bush, I'm trying to go straight to race and misogyny of latest trans telling was hysterical because she bodied this garbage ass. What are your thoughts on that as a woman? Um, I agree with you 100%. Bush is uh, misogynist as fuck. Um, and it does not surprise me that he used that. Did he actually use the word hysterical? I'm so sick of people using that word, eh? Like, it's basically just like send your, send your wife to the doctor to get raped because she's, she's grumpy. That's what hysterical means. <laughs> Historically speaking, but uh, wait, wait, links, link me this shit. Yeah, find the find find uh, the the tweet. Song that drove parents insane in 1996 and rankles with adults today who wonder why a philosophy of never doing anything is being taught to children. But in our overindulgent analysis here, 
I do absolutely love um, the, uh, the first solo, though. I have to give props to that. That song fulfills a role in solidifying the key principle in... He watches nobody but Vosh. Oh, gosh. Centrist friends. The Lion King that is Fun. shared. Centrist friends who think that they're politically engaged of the, the worst kind of people. <laughs> I'm sorry. Of All Things by Timon and Pumbaa and... By Karl Marx hyena. watches Toy Story. Both oh no, the film analysis. Within the Lumpen Proletariat. And the way. He's socialist, though. I mean, like, yeah. Oh, what's Pipeline from Vorsch? The only problem with Vorsch is he, ca is, is he's, he keeps on cutting off um, any pipeline away from him to the left. I would have said, like. Yeah. How do you get off the Vorsch thing? I never got onto the Vorsch thing. Thank fuck. Like I just saw some cool some cool clips of his and I'm like, oh that's pretty cool, that's pretty cool. Saw him on Tim Pool and thought that was interesting. And not too um not too bad. And then like the stuff that he started th then Professor Flowers um basically um put me off Vorsch forever. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to finish this up. Ways in which they can variably... Because I want him to one, get um, the full... ...counter-revolutionary ways, like the hyenas propping up an autocrat for their own theoretical gain and the destruction of what's been built, two, act in ways that... Yeah, you know, like, I don't want to throw shade against people who, like, watch Vorsch for fun, like, because, like, at the end of the day, what we're doing, we're not talking about praxis here, we're talking about um, which celebrity we like more. Okay, like that that's that that's the reality of the situation. It's like my my leftist content creator is better than yours. Um like I like I like I like Kim Kardashian better than I like Cardi B. You know, like that's sort of that that's the level of discourse that it is like when it comes to like political content creators. Like this is entertainment here. Um oh Xander Hall Yeah, I I yeah, can't even start with Xander Hall. Like, notice Xander Hall. Xander Hall is just like a gaslighting prick. Like, yeah. Basically, like, yeah, it just does the actual gaslighting. Like, the literal abuse of gaslighting. Playful progress, like Timon and Pumbaa discouraging Simba from returning it's to centrist, the It's, it's to centrist limpship. And eventually, three, actually be galvanized as a productive force in a revolutionary context. Because Simba's assault on Scar in the end is something of a revolution. Sure, he really just winds up returning Pride Rock to its former status quo with a king at his head and Scar's former supporters exiled. It's not a perfect metaphor. I'm wondering, is it, is this, is this, um, man, it, d d does, um, I really want to know whether Comrade Ferret, like, manually animates this, um, or whether it's, um, uh, facial recognition. Because, like, I really love the work that's been put into this. Like, the effort that's been put into this is Simba really cool. Simba isn't a Marxist icon, don't get any ideas, but he is at least fighting for productive change. True, like Nola. The Republicans against the Very true. Third, who just wanted a return to the constitutional parliament that preceded him. And if we look at Simba as a metaphor for this force, yeah. it suddenly makes sense. Well, I mean, in, in, that, ca is... in that case, Pigeon Dente just leave him to, like, how old is your friend? How old is your friend? Ooh. Yeah, Vera does, does a fantastic job. 21. Okay, when I was 21, I was, uh, I, I was, um, I believed, I believed that the, uh, moon land landing was fake, um, and that, uh, that, uh, the, that 9-11 was, I was a 9-11 truther when I was 21. So, like, just let him grow old and learn shit and he'll grow up <laughs> he'll grow up um yeah that's all i have to say don't worry about it too much just have fun you're you're, you're like so you're like you see you're 17 he's 21 like just chill and have fun and just like grow old and enjoy your youth <laughs> that's that, that yeah like don't forget to enjoy your youth 
You only get one fucking youth. Enjoy it. I thought I was the baddest man in Wigs. You won the state boxing golden gloves when you were 17. I mean, like, you were, you were the top G. You are the top G. You're the top G, G, not the Andrew Tate top groomer G. Uh, you enjoyed, yeah. You're, you're still youthful. Come on, gosh, y'all are children. You're all, y'all children. I'm, 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 th I'm turning 33 in a couple of months, like, and you think, you think that you're, you're, you're growing old. Like, I'm having, like, random, like, health problems that I have no idea where they came from, like. You, you, y'all are worrying about, like, whether Vosh is good or not, like, it, it's, it's, yeah. I used to enjoy the same sort of conspiracy uh, nut job crap that I make fun of today. Yeah, I'm I'm old. I'm old. So like, you know, a decade will change you. And he and um, like Vosh Vosh the, the best the best solution to your problem about your friend watching Vosh is uh to let him continue watching Vosh until Vosh says something that uh turns him off because that will happen. If your friends like socialist, if you if your friends like uh that week a uh, socialist that uh Vosh is going to turn him off so socialism, then like he wouldn't have been a socialist anyway like eventually you know what i mean like is if vosh is enough if it, if like an entertainment if if, an, if a streamer is enough to change your political views uh, rather than your own like research and your own like um uh, readings and understandings of things like if a streamer alone is enough to like change your views like then like what what how worthwhile were your views in the first place you don't want him to turn full liberal yeah Stay friends. It's not enough to like seriously. Like you can be friends with like an ultra conservative if you want. Like you can just disagree about shit. Like and understand that he's gonna be the one holding the gun if there's a, if if there's a fascist uh, revolution. So like keep that in mind. <laughs> be a realist. Because he is the son of Mufasa. It makes sense that a major idea of the film is that, in a very community real sense, is more important. He is Mufasa. In fact, He's a rich for a communist, community is the most important. Turn to the status quo, but it's a revolutionary return because it's in direct opposition to a successful reactionary movement. If Scar had the context needed to be a fascist, Simba would be anti-fascist action. Antifa. Does that make sense? Anyway, That's a bit of a stretch, but okay. winds up playing a crucial role in the overthrow of the reactionary autocrat, as does one faction of the Lumpen proletariat. And the fickleness and unpredictability of the Lumpen proletariat is showcased in how they land the final blow against their once beloved Lumpen king. And the film ends with everything supposedly returning to the same way it once was. For it all to happen precisely the same way again, in The Lion King 2, with Zira as the new Lumpen Queen of the Outcast Lionesses. Hmm. Do you think that's actually what they mean by the circle of life? Maybe the moral of the story is the Lumpen proletariat remain a volatile and unpredictable force. But, yeah, history is that animation that drawing style has informed an entire generation of um of uh, youtube furry artists like this curve of the lip i have seen that everywhere and like you know how like they, they some of them put like the the mouth like all the way up you know how you know the 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 people who fetishize craziness like and mental illness yeah that that, that, that's, that's where that comes from. The Lumpen proletariat remain a volatile and unpredictable force. But history repeats itself. You're getting me with that. <laughs> yeah. Good movie. Good, good movie? Video. Oh, uh, like...
Don't forget to comment. But yeah, like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Ferret deserves more views and subs, so not ironically. Well then, like, share, subscribe. Um, I'm not going to have time for that one today, I don't think. But I, I'm interested in this. Alright. Uh, oh, wait. It's how the left helped man make Andrew Tate popular? What? <sighs> okay. Oh, he did use the words hysterical. Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot about the lobotomization. What the actual fuck? Keep going. Wait, it's an entire thread. All right, so if you're really a, you're trying to encourage leftists to speak out to men, to reach out to men, this kind of just don't actively harm that goal, then I just don't believe that Vosh is somehow unaware of that. A patriarchal system, there will always be some appeal for men to find shelter and misogyny, and will always go against grain to buck that indoctrination. Indoctrination. So, in ways, white people always have the false promise of a haven in white supremacy, and cis people can hide out in their perceived superiority over trans people. We have both intersecting oppressions and also intersecting opportunities to play the other role as well. I'm just trying to still understand this this uh, this one here. Dude is a wannabe Tim Pool right wing court. Sure. Right wing quarter. Yeah, I don't trust anyone who um, talks about feminism in waves. Sorry. Not sorry. Like, this is not... Like, yeah. Yeah, that, 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 that doesn't... Doesn't fucking <sighs> Logan Paul is trending. Hassan is trending. What the fuck? Why is it? Why is my where? Why is my Twitter feed just only only fucking streamers and sh sh shit libs? Uh, misogyny. They're just doing this thing. It's hard work, confront with complexity and difficulty. You blame feminists for rape. Yeah, if you blame feminists for rapists, sex traffickers like Tate, or just women for the centuries of violent oppression they faced, you make that much more harder. Yeah. Sorry. I'm if we do, yeah, if you do with the implicit threat of violence, if we women don't start being nicer, then we're going to get it. All right. So here is a fucking issue, right? Here is a fucking issue. What about this? Remember this clip. This is my issue here. Okay. A research project a year ago trying to figure out if there was such a thing as political correctness from a psychometric perspective to find out if the, the loose ag aggregation the attributes associated with femininity. I think that women whose relationship with men have, has been serious experiences with men might have been rough enough so that that have healthy relationships with men. Now, but here's the problem. You know, this is something my wife has pointed out too. She said, well, men are going to have to stand up for themselves, but here's the trespassing against me. And the reason I know that is because... Okay, here we go. Here we go. This, <clears throat> this is it. This is, this, is, this is the one. This is the one. This is the fucking thing. ...who's uh, unfairly trespassing against me. And the reason I know that is because the parameters for my resistance are quite well defined, which is... We talk, we argue, we push, and then it becomes physical. So this idea, and I see it come up a lot when it comes to people talking about women's rights and stuff. If women want to be, like, I'm, I'm like, this is me, like, just basically translating this. If women want to be equal with men, then they should accept violence from men, because that is something which is acceptable against men. Violence against men is not acceptable, you fucking asshole.
He is describing an unhealthy relationship he has with the people in his life. If he is constantly thinking about the fact that he needs to, he uh, can righteously get physical with another man through a verbal disagreement, I'm sorry, but that's not okay. Not purest liberals will see who cancels who, but like, this idea, and this is where I'm getting from this. If we women don't now start being nicer, then we're going to get it. Because of this misandry and misogyny. This idea that men can be violent against each other. Well, we shouldn't be violent against each other. We are brothers and sisters here. Why are we accepting violence against men and then using that in order to attack women? This is a fucking problem. So it's not the fault of women or feminists that patriarchy targets men for foot soldiers and everyone else as well targets. And any more than that, the, than it is black people's fault that white supremacy hurts them. Exactly. Or disable people with it, with ableism. Like, it's not my fault that I sometimes get attacked for being transgender. Because I didn't choose to be transgender. I just choose to accept something about myself. Well, you never looked at, at boxing as violence, by the way, just to be clear, for most of my life practice. Yeah, I mean, I'm talking about this idea that Jordan Peterson like is describing that has described here that it's okay for men to attack each other if they have a disagreement like that's the way that is right that is what is that like that is objective like talking at, about an issue which is a social problem as if it is an unchangeable fact about the way we exist as men and women. It is not okay to normalize the idea that men should be violent. Because they shouldn't be. They shouldn't have to be. They shouldn't be taught to be. It's just unfair. We are literally setting men up for failure when we do this. We are setting men up for failure when we teach our kids that it's okay to hit each other because they're men. And boxing boxing is, like, a, a, a different thing entirely. My only issue with boxing is that, like, it does reduce lifespan, as, as does all sports, really. Um, but, yeah, there, there's a lot of issues with sports. Yeah, like... The roll-on effects of this stuff, like, there is misandry, and there's misogyny, there's, like, all of this stuff. Um... So, ableism hurts them. While being so deeply baked into our society, it's hard to even to see sometimes, and upheld by the abled. And telling people they're getting hurt... That they're telling the people that are getting hurt that they just haven't worked hard enough at convincing people not to hurt them is fucking depraved, cruel, and also just bullshit. Exactly. Exactly. I just fucking... I still can't get over this. Right? This is his response to that. Cool, buddy. Fuck, you should just shut the fuck up about women's issues. Yeah, you'll never make anyone comfortable enough with their toxic behaviours that they will choose to drop it and go with health and compassion instead. Making excuses for bad behaviour, working around it, just makes it easier to hang on to. No one likes to change. The reactionaries have the easier choice. There's no helping that. It goes with the grain, requires, if anything, that you don't work on yourself, admit faults, introspect, open yourself to change, be vulnerable, but we have the better option. That's the point. Yeah. Mini golf, it's simple and if a fascist cut shows up, you got the perfect version. <laughs> yeah, true. 
True. I disavow. I disavow violence. I disavow. It's totally disavowed. Yeah, like, fuck. I wanna, I wanna, like, what the fuck is this video, right? How the left helped make Andrew Tate popular. No matter what the content of this video ends up being, okay, let the title of the video be known as how the left helped make it down at the alt-right MRA pipe. It's because the right talks to them and the left doesn't. Um, hey, Pigeon Dente, as a, as, as a teenager, like, uh, have you had this, uh, have you had this experience of not having any person to talk to about, uh, left-wing issues online? And not having, um, like, like, role models to look up to, entertainers who are on the left, like, to, to watch? Like, is this a problem that you've seen? Because I haven't seen this issues. I've got many, like, leftist content creators that I watch. Like, yeah, it doesn't, I, I disavow it. Definitely don't burn down another target. Definitely don't do more violence. Definitely don't derail supply lines that are going towards military, like, uh, supplies. De de definitely, definitely, um, like, actually don't do it around, um, like, uh, residential areas. Please don't derail trains around residential areas. But I disavow doing anything like that anyway, so it's because l violence bad. And I'm, and I'm really, uh, yeah, you got Hakeem, you got Second Thought, you've got, um, you've got, um, like, there's some lib shit there as well, but if we're talking about content creators, what about Shark 300? Like, I mean, like, he's not as, he's not far left, he's a lib, but still, he's one of the most positive, he, he's put one of the most, like, positively masculine, um, content creators that, uh, I regularly watch. Like, I have my issues with Shark, myself, like, his Twitter can sometimes be a bit disagreeable to my personal tastes but like yeah don't burn bush's house down don't 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 attack um right wingers in the street i disavow um they choose to subscribe to fascist ideal get me as in maintain the position the social sort of hierarchy and the liberation of other groups that have threatened that um like because of some mac of back of what oh fucking hell I just read this tweet, actually. Like, I actually just, just read this tweet. I was I was having much more fun, fun talking to you guys, but, like, I just realized what this tweet was saying. So, men don't fall down the alt-right MRA pipeline because the left isn't doing enough good enough outreach. They choose to be subscribed to fascist ideology because they have an investment in maintaining their position on the social hierarchy and the liberation of other groups that threatens that. Let me translate to you what she just said there to make it a little bit easier to understand. Okay? If Jordan Peterson is enough for someone to become anti-communist, then they were never going to become communist in the first place, and you shouldn't be wasting your time on them. That is the fucking truth. That is what we know about de-radicalization. It is far more, far easier and far more effective to go to the most needy people out there, the people who need the most help, and to provide material support to them. That is praxis. That is how you start a revolution. That is how you help people. Because even if you don't have a revolution, you've still materially affected someone's life in a positive way. You have done something. That is praxis, right? If you tr following left-wing praxis, by its very nature, improves your community. 
there is no downside to like m to like helping out at a soup kitchen to creating social networks um amongst uh, the homeless to like making people safer you know there is no downside to you doing that because a creating these social networks does help you to be help your community and it does c bring people closer and less likely to commit crime especially if you're providing monetary uh, support to the homeless if, especially if you're trying to um, create homes for the homeless those sort of things like housing co-ops trying to get more people um, sheltered in more affordable ways being getting together as a community and lobby lobbying the government like these things even if they don't lead to systemic change, they still improve the lives of your community. That's praxis, all right? And I don't know how I got there from, got here from there, but like, yeah. I went on a rant. I went on a communist rant again. I'm sorry. I can't remember where I was going with that. <laughs> but yeah, at the end of the day, that's what, pra that's what praxis is. Um, and by doing that, yes, no, I remember now. By doing these sort of things in your community, you're more likely to find like minds who are already going to agree with you, already going to provide support, are already on your side. And with the age of the internet, it's much easier to find these people. So don't waste your time on trying to change the mind of someone who became a fascist from reading um, 12 Rules for Life. Because if that's enough to make someone fascist, there was nothing you could do to convince them to be communist in the first place. And Vosch completely misunderstands this whole idea. Like, there is no... There are no 12-year-old boys who are like saying i want to i want to preserve my fucking place in the hierarchy and the liber and the liberation of other groups of effects that there's no one who thinks that okay these are things that we teach kids to do in order to preserve their place in society this is what this is the systems that we've created right they inherently move down those path lines because that's what we've set set for them in life that is what we've taught them from a young age that you know d d maintaining their social hierarchy at the cost of other people you know dog eat dog world and all of that bullshit like so many things that we teach kids uh systemic problems and we don't even realize how much privilege we have until we like actually put effort into finding out so Vorsch's response, I cannot stress enough how important it is to understand that 12-year-old boys on Twitch are not being pulled into fashions because of Machiavelli Machiavellian desire uh, to preserve and expand their privileges. It's because the right talks and the left doesn't. Um, Screw the rules, I have money. Wrong one. Wait, is it this one? Yeah! It's been a while since I pressed the button. It's been a while since I pressed the button, but I still like it. Screw the rules, Screw I the have rules. money. I have green hair. I mean, money. It is a gift. What's this one? Do I have another one? Oh, I'm saying it! Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm just reminding myself of the buttons. <laughs> sorry, I like the buttons. Um, yeah. So, Walsh has decided to take this as if, like, all twelve... The, take this, um, uh, sorry, La Madre de, de los Gatos, um, as, as if they're saying that um a white kid white 12 year old boys actively want to be racist in order to get nice things no that's not the case like we are teaching kids that like through the systems that we've created that that's the way to live screw the rules i got money that's from um uh uh it's from Yu-Gi-Oh! Abridged. Yu-Gi-Oh! Abridged. Some based old school YouTube, uh, YouTube nonsense. Yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh! Abridged from, uh, Little Karibo. It's hilarious.
Screw the rules, I have money. Screw the rules, I have money. <laughs> it's just so many lines like that. Yeah. Sort of like, you know, you, do you remember like Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Z bridge and stuff like that, Team Four Star and stuff? I'm old. I'm sorry, I'm old. Anyway, the well, left well, doing well. good enough outreach. They choose to subscribe to fascist ideology. Yeah, read that right. again. They choose let's, to subscribe. Let's to fascist watch. Ideology let's watch him like misunderstand this content. Social hierarchy and the liberation of other groups that threaten that. He, are we leftists or are we leftists? Do we believe in socioeconomics like as a concept? Uh, yeah, dude, everyone who subscribes to a reactionary ideology chooses to subscribe because they're... Yeah, like... Wait, what? Hold yeah. on, hold on, hold on. It's like, as a concept? Uh, other groups that threaten that. He... Are we leftists or are we leftists? Do we believe in socioeconomics? Like, as a... Socioeconomics. Um, Bush. The second of the half of that tweet... <laughs> yeah, being nostalgic, we've got to turn back back in my day when I was a child. Um, Vosh, the second half of that tweet is explaining the socioeconomics. You fucking illiterate dickhead. Concept? <laughs> uh, yeah, dude, everyone who subscribes to a reactionary ideology chooses to subscribe because they're consciously invested in maintaining yeah no so this is the this is this is the problem like yeah no you don't understand it like it's not talking about consciously a conscious choice it's still a choice but it's not a conscious choice like you still choose to do one thing or another but like still it's not like a choice made from like understanding like the reasoning behind it they choose to subscribe to fascist ideology because, and here's the socioeconomic side of things, they have an investment in maintaining their position in the social hierarchy and the liberation of other groups threatens that. That's, that's, that's the part of it, like... Meaning, yeah, dude, things like anxiety and fear among... If that was the case, why are anxiety, fear, and disgust the most common emotions associated with... Every human human is born with an innate, complete understanding, and and they're all just like they choose because they are brainwashed. Oh my gosh, no! Like uh, y'all, y'all, please, please, if you take nothing else away from like what I say, like if I if I even if you like you're right winger and you hate my stuff, please stop believing that brainwashing is real. It's sci-fi fucking nonsense. Brainwashing isn't something that's real. Brainwashing is not a thing. You, the indoctrination, you can argue, is a thing, but brainwashing doesn't work in the way that it's like... It's just... It's, it's bullshit. Stop. Stop. Please, get some help. Reactionary politics. If it's anxiety... If, if, if this was the case, then it would just be some, like, cold Machiavellian power bit. Um, obviously, I, I, it's, it's, it's so shockingly ignorant that it's actually disgusting to me. This had 10k likes, by the way. It's so disgusting. Like, like, literally all you've done, all you've done, Vosh, right now is to, is basically, um, uh, frame it in a way that you, you, you've done two things, um, already, uh, to, to frame the tweet incorrectly. Number one, you framed it around 12 year old boys. Um, this tweet was about men. I understand that Vosh has a problem with understanding the difference between children and adults. I understand that that's something that Vosh has a big problem with in the past. Uh, he has a problem with, um, uh, of, with, um, distinguishing between animals and humans sometimes when it comes to, you know, things of sexual nature. Um, you know, abusing, abusing, sexually abusing lizards for one thing, um, and also his uh, love of uh, lolicon and uh, you know, and uh, child and having no problem with child with owning child pornography. For like, I could go on. Um, not surprising to me that Vorsch can't tell the difference between men and boys. So that's framing one. Framing two is that no one said anything about conscious decisions. If they said a conscious choice, then they would have said conscious choice. Vosh has completely 
change the framing of this conversation and he's just going to argue the point about something that was never the point in the first place. And also, she, oh no, sorry, fr framing three. Oh my gosh. Holy shit, like white boys. Who said anything about white people? Who said anything about white people? This is about white people. Bosh. 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 Is that because, like, Vosh thinks of himself as a 12-year-old white boy? Is that why he thinks it's okay to uh, drool over Lolicon? Because he, cause, cause, cause he wants to identify as a map or something? Is that is that it? Have we cracked the code? Fucking hell. Thing to me, like that, that this is propagated. It's genuinely destructive. It's a psyop. We are being infiltrated by these, I don't know, misandrists. Their hatred for men clearly overwhelms. Them. Psyop? Do you even understand? Does Vosh even understand what a psyop Their is? Ability to engage in critical analysis. You know, it's like really wait, discussed. Who's who's who? Wait, 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 wait. Who's uh, who's organizing this psyop? What are you talking about? Like, what the fuck is he talking about? Yeah, the they thems. So, uh, yeah, this is the one, I, I'm not, yeah, again, I'm not gonna fucking, um, uh, share this, but, um, yeah, that, that, I, he owned a Twitter account, um, Irish laddie is, uh, Borsch, by the way, um, yeah. Yeah, like, don't fucking say PSYOP. Um, about, like, people, uh, like, a PSYOP is an organized fucking movement, you, you fucking idiot. Like, it's an organized attack. Like, a PSYOP would be, like, maps from 4chan, or, like, super straight movement from 4chan, like, all of these things. Um, a PSYOP would be, uh, some of the, some of the attacks that, uh, Kiwi Farms, uh, organized against people like Keffels and all of that sort of stuff. Those are PSYOPs, you fucking idiot. You are call he is calling something that he disagrees with a psyop. Also, why have I still got Mark's King up here? But yeah. Um, so this Twitter account, uh, shared Lollicon, uh, stuff, so, like, he had an alt, alt, uh, Twitter that shared, like, uh, Lollicon porn. Yay! I do love, I do love sharing this, sharing this thing. Um, here's a con, this, uh... Uh, da 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 If they get mad at, like, factual information, you know? Jeez. Could you cover this introducing Vosh facts? This is so deranged, dude. It's so fucking weird. Oh wow. Appar oh, that sucks, dude. I liked Green and Pleasant. It's like a UK lefty sub. Um, I guess they have the Vosh bot now. So yeah, anytime anytime you say Vosh, it gives like a little out of context snippet. Is there any other person on the left who gets this kind of treatment? Like, is there anybody else on the left who gets this kind of treatment? Yeah, like um every female um streamer who's not a white Cishet, <laughs> a white cishet uh, passing like uh, streamer, a male, white male cishet streamer.
Like, anyone outside of that gets the worst kind of treatment. You just get treatment that you deserve because you're, a, like, you, you are an alleged pedophile <laughs> who actively um, attacks minorities and women. Like, yeah, Hassan gets shit at Hassan gets shit at him, but neither Vosh or Hassan have gotten anywhere near the amount of shit that gets thrown as Keffels. Anywhere near the amount of shit that was thrown at uh, Professor Flowers. Anywhere near the shit that was thrown at Cat Black. Like, these people, <laughs> actual fucking minorities, get shit. Get black trans women who are outwardly trans and outwardly black online get the same treatment that Vorsch gets every day without having to fucking try. Okay? I can't think of anybody else who gets this kind of ubiquitous hatred. It's literally because you can't think of anything else but yourself. Just me. You're bigger than all of them? Yeah, but still, like, come on. Yeah, I thought Green and Pleasant was a relatively non-toxic community, but I bet if we looked at the moderators, they would probably share moderators with, like, some other weird subreddits, you know? Um, I wonder what... I, don't know. I wonder what happened to Green and Pleasant after this video. No, there's porn in this person's feet. Hold on. Oh, yeah. So here's the head moderator of um, Green and Pleasant, and the literal last thing they posted nine minutes ago was this. This person is actually deranged. Why? Nine minutes ago. Yeah. Why is that deranged? Why is that deranged, Vosh? It's insane how fucking rent-free. And they're the moderator of Shit Liberal Says, The Right Can't Meme, Communism Memes, all the Yep, so all the, the left-leaning subreddits now get Vosh bots. Jesus yeah. Christ. It's funny. It's funny because you're a fuckhead. <laughs> I saw my friends say that you make transphobic tweets. They, I don't. How's Vosh transphobic? The am I transphobic thing literally came from people clipping. So the am I transphobic thing literally came from a Nazi cut together a bunch of clips from a stream of mine, and then a bunch of lefties shared around. Um, I don't even have a video on it. Pretty sure you also moderate in a Vosh channel. Well, sorry, I only listed a few of the subreddits moderate. This guy's a power user, people. Why is it fucking going so fast? Of the land of love, labor, uh, enough Vosh spam. Yep, we only bet he's probably the head mod of that one. Yep, the head mod of that one. This person's entire life is dedicated to hating me. Oh, here, Michelle Liberal says, 46 minutes ago, the same image, gotta spread it around. We take a look at submitted posts. How many others? Enough Bosch spam, enough Bosch spam. Yeah. Yeah, people people dislike you because you're a shit person. Here we go. Like, I've seen videos. Also, um, see this gecko. See this gecko. Like, I just noticed that. I didn't realize that he had a fucking gecko there. I don't know if this is on here. Um... Yesterday, I was on Twitter, like, any normal day, and, uh, we're on, uh, yeah, um, I'm gonna show you why that, that's, that's, uh, a pretty fucked thing to have up there, like, uh, we, from lizards every hour, is it? there we go. I put a gecko on my dick for a picture once, and it licked it. Mlem. Yeah, consent is irrelevant for animals. Even pets get no say in being locked up, taken away, fixed, or euthanized. I don't think bestiality should be a crime. Uh, and one of my geckos will run down and jump on my dick. Like they're giving me a full body hand job. So yeah, um, let that's in your head every time you see that, um, see that gecko pop up on his stream.
he's boasted in the past about like putting putting his pet on his dick and having his pet lizard lick his dick so yeah i that's just interesting i didn't uh, yeah 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 he's proud of proud of that shit obviously so watching trans people mentally ill Th this is the weirdest out of context thing like in the whole thing I never, in the entirety of my career, said trans people are mentally ill. I said that the group of people who religiously canceled ContraPoints were a group of always online, trans, comma, mentally ill dipshits. Now, putting trans and mentally That's like literally what you're doing. You're, you're calling people mentally ill um, to... Uh... Which is literally a gaslighting technique as well, but wouldn't surprise me because he's abusive as well. Is, I admit, it's like pretty. Ugly. Like he's he Vosh has a like long fucking history of being an abuser and using abusive language in his streams. In like, I when when the whole cat black situation came around, so that was a situation in which um, Vosh um, told. Uh, uh, like, basically said something fucking misogynistic, I can't even remember what it was, um, uh, to JK Rowling, and uh, a bunch of people called out, uh, called him out on it, and then Cat Black did, and then he did a six hour stream calling her schizophrenic and mentally ill, and, um, and, uh, going through DMs and stuff, and basically convincing people that she was, like, she wanted to have sex with him, um, and all sorts of shit, and all sorts of shit for, like that. I watched the entire six hours of that. And he was constantly calling her mentally ill. Constantly. So the problem isn't that he's calling all transgender people mentally ill. He's calling... He has a history of calling anyone that disagrees with him mentally ill. Calling them schizophrenic, specifically. Calling them fucking, like... Just convincing people that anyone who disagrees with him must be crazy. Which is textbook gaslighting. Trans people mentally ill. That's me acknowledging the fact that these people were A, largely trans, which seemed to be true based off the demographics of the people cancelling contrapoints, and had a lot of mental illness, just judging from the kind of shit they would say. Um, You're not a fucking psychologist, dude. You're, you're not a psychologist, dude. I know you want to be, but, like, fuck. The amount that he calls people that disagree with him mentally ill and schizophrenic instead of actually engaging with their arguments and then reframing tweets in order to try and come down to a solution about this. But let's uh, finish this. Nope. I said that group of people, the people cancelling contrapoints religiously, were subhuman. So the people that disagreed with him were subhuman. Like, let's understand the fucking framing that was going in. He's reframing the issues. Like, are the people doing this to this person? He's like, yeah, they were people that you disagree with, and you have a pattern of calling people that disagree with you subhuman and mentally ill. In fact, I'm pretty damn sure that he called um, a Cat Black uh, subhuman in that um, six hours as well. Go watch it if you disagree. And you were right. <laughs> well, they, uh, people who canceled counterpoints mm. haven't exactly been the most ardent defenders of uh, leftism as time has gone on. Um, Example, please. Oh, um, probably. I literally haven't in like a year. All right, we have already now. Um, I literally haven't in like a year. You realize that, right? Um, one other thing that we have, one other issue that we have in um, when it comes to online discourse is that it doesn't actually matter if you change because you will always be held to account for behavior you engaged in in the past as though it's what you currently believe in. Um, so it could be five years from now. And even though uh, the number of times I said the N-word on this channel is exactly one. So basically, just because he thinks that he's going to be judged for it, he refuses to change now. Okay. <laughs> Fucking hell. Two years ago, and it's in one video. Weak. Provided underneath, a video that was seen and that I'm not hiding from anybody. It could be five years. And people will still say, I don't know um, what he sounds like now, but it doesn't seem to have changed. Basically, what's happened is like since since the uh, the since the R slur has become um, uh, politically incorrect, they've switched to using schizo as a term, um, which obviously, for obvious reasons, is ableist as fuck. I 
have had schizophrenic clients in the cl in in the past and yeah just fuck you if you use schizophrenic as an insult against someone that you disagree with in in a fucking chat like i have cleaned up the shit of schizophrenic clients i have fucking cleaned their house because they're unable to do it for themselves i have had helped them do their shopping because they fucking can't talk to people at the fucking register by themselves go fuck yourself for making light of a, men a debilitating mental illness that people real people have to fucking deal with real families in america have to take care of their schizophrenic family member members without the support of the state you can get fucked you don't have to deal with this and even using the arsler if you think the arsler is uh, is okay what do you think that my abusive ex used to yell at me to try and make me feel like shit you know, who do you think was called an arsler? Who do you think? Autistic people. People with ADHD. Bipolar people. Like, all of these, these insults were leveraged against people like me, or people that I've cared for, or still care about. You can get all the way fucked up your ass with a cactus, mate. And later on, uh, bro moments. <laughs> I, I like again to to iterate what you can see right here. Okay, twelve year old white boys on Twitch don't do, do not willingly join fascism as some sort of like hand like you know <laughs> scheme. They're like ah yes, I'm twelve and I understand that I'm of the privileged group and I want to maintain that by subscribing to a, a an ideology of state domination and, and, and I'm gonna skip what? in fifteen minutes because um yeah he does it all the time um and see if he's still doing still um bitching about an argument that nobody fucking started. We need to give up on that. You know, it is not a coincidence that if you take a look at. I do like what reading the comments and seeing what kind of things they say. Oh, ew, ew, fucking lolly clips, lolly pictures. Fuck off. Blame MCU. That conservative propaganda, a ton of it is dedicated towards affirming male sexual insecurity. Seriously, the non-stop talk talking about how feminism has ruined women, about how this, about how that. This is all the re this is also the reason why in my house YouTube can only be watched by the kids in the living room so you can keep an eye on them because they they on what they watch because the alt right pi pipeline is huge. Fucking hell. If your kids are going to fall down the alt right pipeline, then you fa failed as a parent in the first place because like fuck. That like it's constant in yeah, it, 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 yeah, people using, if you want to, if, if you get, like, if you call me the arsler, you should fucking know that I have fucking PTSD from abusive relationships in which that was fucking sweat, that, that, that was, uh, screamed at me. You know, I've been called a man, a man in a dress by partners in the past. I have had all of these things thrown at me by the people who I thought, uh, loved me the most. So, if you think that it's just edgy and funny, cool, but understand that you are bringing up actual painful shit, not just to me, but to other people who have gone through that experience. That's why I can say, like, Vosh can go fuck himself. He does not understand materialism in any way. All he understands is hypotheticals and putting things into... Um, he's very good at putting things into a bubble that he can argue with. But from the start of this video, he reframed that tweet in a way which completely misses the point. Anyway, when does he start uh, looking at uh, this one? Um...
The reason that right, oh, oh, I've watched this video. Yeah, yeah, the reason why young men flock to the alt right MRA movement is because the left gives brain dead advice to young men. We need to be more compassionate to them for our own sake. Why are these people not linking to Curtis Connor? Why is uh, like because Curtis Connor is a very fucking big. He's lib. He is lib. Yes, but he is an example of positive masculinity on the left. Okay? And he's fucking funny. He's fucking hilarious, okay? Like, go watch Curtis Connors. Curtis Connors is fucking hilarious. Um, bring back your old, um, br br bring back your old, uh, uh, your old intro music, because that was the best. Curtis Connor, Curtis Connors. Where is Curtis Connor? Sorry. My own thing. Um, it's just reactionary bullshit. Like, since, since, like, complaining that no one's, uh, no one's, uh, showing, showing compassion from the left. But when those voices are out there and you're spending more time disagreeing with people, uh, in your own camp than you are amplifying the voices of people who give positive masculine advice. And I'm sorry, but Vosh is not good. Like, ma does not give good masculine advice. He shows that he, he that he basically teaches like he's taught a generation of people uh, that it's okay to uh, talk down minorities when they disagree with what you have to say and call them uh, mentally ill, and to uh, say and to normalize the use of schizo when it comes to um, like this bullshit. It's the same as like the stigmatization against uh, people with narcissism. Like, this is damaging to communities in real measurable ways. However, do you know what is not measurable and has not been substantiated in any way? That Vosch is able to convert people from the right to the left. There is no conclusive evidence in all our current scientific understanding. There is no consensus that de-radicalization is even possible, let alone that Vorsch is able to do it. All you have is uh, your own, uh, all you have is, is a hug box, which is, all, which you're only going to see the good things in anyway, you're not going to talk, talk you, and you have the exact same amount of people who say that they were converted from the far left as the, the people who say that they were converted from the far right. So, I don't know. I don't know. You're doing what you think you're doing, man. Left doesn't, the left doesn't care to give much of any advice to young men specific to issues that matter. Shh. Fucking hell. Uh, fucking hell. T T T1J. Fucking, oh my gosh. Like, who? <laughs> like. Shark three zero zero. Like, let's have a look. Ah, oh, fucking not that, not that video. That see, that was the problem I had did have with Shark three zero zero. Is that whole fucking thing? But hmm. um, there's uh, you know, Shark three zero zero is fantastic. Uh, FD. FD signifier. Another positive male role model that you can watch uh, on the left. Um, oh. This isn't it. This I always get I always get sent to the to to some other fucker. I don't know why it gets it gets me. Noah Samson, let's just throw some of these in here. Like black role mo role, role models, like white role models, male role models. Fuck. Acting as if these people don't fucking exist. These people talk about positive masculinity. I mean, like if you want to talk about the old right pipeline in general, like, um. No. Innuendo Studios. Fuck. 
Innuendo Studios. Um, who else? Like, there are shit tons of positive left wing role models talking about masculinity and positive masculinity at that. Um, geez, like, fuck. Let me see. Like, I just subscribed to someone recently. Let's see if I get uh, any more. I'm getting a lot of um, recommendations from him. It's pretty, pretty, pretty cool. Oh, fucking what? You've got, um, Nick is not green. You've got, um, uh, fuck. Well, right, Adam Conover talks about masculinity sometimes. Um, yeah, I probably wouldn't put Bad, Bad Empanada in that list. Uh, da, 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 da. CJ the X is, well, they're, they're, they're um, non binary as far as I know. Um, do, 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 do. Da, 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 da. I, I I don't know if Hakeem has done much on the masculinity side of things, but Hassan Hassan Hassan's like like a fucking one of the like you know predominant like positive male role models, like number one positive male role model on Twitch, and like you're talking as if these people don't exist. Is it Jack Saint? Um. Who else? Fuck. There's kind of, kind of uh, Laron Reedus does some good videos. I'm not sure if he talks about masculinity so much. Um, yeah, Little Joel is good for that. Um, do 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 do. We're going through all of my uh, my uh, uh, friggin' subs at the moment. Like. Um, Sean has got done some interesting takedowns of some uh, toxic masculine uh, creators. Son, ah, oh, son, I'm sure. I, I don't know how to pronounce your name. I am so sorry, but you fucking you do some fucking amazing shit. Uh, amazing shirts. Um... Puberty does not make a child an adult. No matter how precocious the puberty or the result, no matter how beyond their years they may look, they are still a child. Imagine being a boy, a black boy, who goes through puberty and ends up a spectacle on the world wide web. One of the most awkward times of your life and you become a meme. People calling you a man. Police are seeing us adultify this boy. Predators are seeing us adultify this boy and capitalizing on the normalization of a young child who's precociously developed being You know what, Vosh? You aren't seeing the left give advice to young men because you aren't even bothering to fucking look. Seriously, I mean, like, fuck. I mean, Thought Slime is is uh, non-binary, but uh, they give some really, really in-depth, um, like, advice when it comes to, like, dealing with mental issues and things that, um, that not just men, but women and other non-binary people face in their day-to-day -day life. So there's that. We're in hell. Also positive. Fuck. Tom Nicholas. Like, I... Just, just rattled off like 10, 10 leftist content creators who have done like really good work in talking about young men. Like I literally showed you like some amazing shit. There's some amazing shit out there right now that people are watching that you are not giving air to. Instead of that, you are talking down to other minority content creators. I'm just going to, like, let this play for a little bit so that you can see how differently he responds to a male content creator, a white cis-het male content creator, than he does a, uh, a, um, you know, a black trans woman. Okay? ...to young men. It may seem, it may, it may seem kind of, like, trivial, but I'm talking about, like, masculinity, dating, that kind of stuff. Uh, the, like, stuff like that is really important to young men. If that like bothers you, if, if it's frustrating that young guys are kind of like 
fixated on that. I'm sorry, that's literally just life, okay? And and the left just doesn't see these issues as worthwhile, which is a bit frustrating Bullshit. because like there Bullshit. Are... Like seriously, like this is stuff this is stuff that like everyone has been talking about for the last year. I don't know where the fuck Vorsch has been, but this is a constant this is a constant talking point amongst all of the left almost all of the leftist content creators that I follow. I talk about these issues myself, even though I'm like fucking tiny. Vorsch, where have you been? <laughs> You missed, you missed the movement. You're not part of it anymore, are you? Experiences with like femininity and, and, and like youth, like, like for girls or whatever, that the left seems to care a little bit more about because it, it gets under discussed broadly. But what you have to understand is that if you want to sell an ideology, you can't only talk about the stuff that other parts of society aren't willing to talk about. You have to give a holistic social theory. That means you have to talk about everything. Even oh, sorry. Every it was group in the world has their own opinions on masculinity and like men's dating advice or whatever. You also <laughs> sorry. It wasn't six hours. It was seven hours. And so, and I watched every single minute of that of this video to uh, re to to so I, that I had all of the fucking context. So have to put up for that. You can't just go. Oh well, we want to talk about issues with women or black people because you don't. Hey, know what about it's it? me tweet doesn't really make me mad at all uh, because I think the outcome it describes is good. Uh, it's good to be compassionate to men. And if the left can do a better job of that, uh, then that's great. Oh my God. Oh, I fucking love Joel, dude. Oh my God. Oh my God. I, th th right off the bat, like the simple acknowledgement that, hey, doing better at things and being nice is good. Oh, thank you. More, more than I normally get in, 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 this, in this discourse. Thank you. Yeah, I, the, the, the recurring lines so often yeah. with more than you deserve fucking hell so many men so many like so many men just just want like want to be like applauded for doing the bare fucking minimum i'm sorry is this about a twitter thing no it's just like it's basically just more vosh bullshit more voosh bullshit like about him completely reframing an argument um uh usually like, like usual basically not being able to argue with the basic ar argument um yeah and if you have a praise critic, it's cool. I, I I function on praise, and it's good to, like, talk to your loved ones about that and to, like, request that if it's something you need to be functional in society. But expecting that of people, expecting to be congratulated for doing the bare minimum? No. Vosh, the bare minimum is not abusing geckos. This talk is like, you want to be more sympathetic? Oh, that means you want to be- And I'm not going to congratulate you, congratulate you for every time that you don't do that. <laughs> I'm going to fucking shit on you because you did that. ...be sympathetic to incel ideology. I'm not sympathetic to incel ideology. I'm sympathetic to the horrible feelings that guys have that make them think incels have a point. And that's- those are two totally different things, you know? I'm and if you spend five minutes actually looking at the content creators that talk about these issues, the male content creators, don't talk about these issues, then uh, you would see that that's like a common uh, form of discourse within these communities. Like, this is how the left talks about these issues. Again, like, he doesn't see it because he doesn't look. Because, like, I guess... Mm. ...sympathetic to, to, like, believing Mexicans are stealing your jobs. That's dumb as... F I am sympathetic to a guy in the working class who is 24-7, like, subjected to Fox News propaganda about Mexicans stealing their jobs, and this guy can barely afford to pay his mortgage. And the racism Wait, what is that while still a problem is a manifestation of scapegoating from economic issues. I'm sympathetic to that. Mm. I'm sympathetic to systemic problems, like the allowance of those things. Like duh. Yeah. Libship. And yeah, this is the bl blaming of individual act using individual actions rather than blaming systems. Like you can't like solve problems by blaming individuals because if you have systems which allow individuals to do those things, you're just going to have another individual fill that space eventually doing the same shit. To like the 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 the, the pre-existing conditions there, you know. Um... It's like he's using the. Ah, oh, damn it, I said these words earlier, when I was talking about Hitler. He's using the aesthetics of leftism to make make arguments while um, falling into the, hole, into the hole of blaming the individual again, and <laughs> focusing on morality over uh, practicality. And, and you should be able to speak to that. Like, you don't, you don't have to 
ad like adopt racism in order to, you know, to speak to that. You can say, hey, racism is dumb. And I want you to know that it's the wrong And response. don't forget right now that he's arguing against um, this straw man person on the left who's apparently disagreeing with him. Nobody disagrees about these issues, Horsh. To the problems you're seeing. You can and people that. do talk about this shit. I have some problems with this tweet, like like a weird amount of problems with this tweet, and I just wanted to talk you through them uh, because I find it really interesting. The first is, I'm not sure exactly what advice the left is giving to young men that is brain dead. Like, what are people saying? What's going on? Do you guys remember that tweet thread that I did? Or sorry, when I responded to Sid's tweets and some guy responded to me with, I don't understand the issue. I teach my boys everything they need to know. Save the world. Uh, be kind. Or do, do you guys remember that? I, I, I think that turned into like a, a, a mini me. Say, yeah, save the planet. <laughs> yeah, all the advice a young man needs. Yeah, be progressive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not super helpful. Wait, what? That was it? That's it? That was it? That was it? That was it? To the conversation, I think, to present the left as a group of people presenting young men terrible advice without getting into the nature of that advice, what's actually going on. Uh, I know a bunch of leftists, and- I, I agree with this. It is worth noting that there's an imbalance in charity here, right? Like, it's not possible in one or even a few tweets to really dig into, like, the issues men face or the ways in which the left fails them. But people will jump on what Sid tweeted and go like, ah, so you want us to sympathize with Nazis and incels. So, like, there is, like, a total imbalance in, in the amount of, like, war Sorry, I need to look up that tweet again. This is just appeasement. That doesn't work. We know we we know that. Uh, for example, what of patriarchy? We, we know that doesn't work. Very very sexist society for a very compassionate. What does compassion mean? Compassion, like, again, I'm not going to praise you for doing the bare minimum, which is not being a fucking fascist. Fuck off, I've got better things to do with my time. I'm not going to praise you for not currently putting a lizard on your dick. Fuck off, that's the bare minimum. You fucking creep. Very long time. Feminism is a recent phenomenon, and so I think it makes sense uh, that people are still attracted to the patriarchy as an idea. Okay. This is kind of a misdirection. We do live in a system that kind of gravitates people towards reactionary ideologies on this, especially men. But when we're talking about what we can do about it, we can't like Thanos snap the system out. We kind of have to work within the means of, well, what can our analysis, what can our systems do? Obviously, we live in a sexist system. That's true. I don't think anything Sid said kind of like ignored that, though, right? Like you can say, yeah, we live in a world that has like very strong reactionary social pressures that, that move people in that direction. But that doesn't mean that it moves them through some kind of like innate or immaterial process, right? Like, well, how does the patriarchy reach out to men? I would argue that it reaches out to them primarily through insecurity. And we can target that insecurity and get at it and keep men from falling down. Yeah, this is one of the problems with Vosh is that he's stuck on... He, like I said, he uses the, um, the... He uses the aesthetics of leftist thought to make arguments, but at the end of the day, he's a moralist just like the rest of the reactionaries. He thinks that having good good morals and uh, a proper moral framework is the solution to our problems. It, he believes in att attacking these problems as from an individualistic perspective. Okay. Down that road before or sometimes alongside these other systems like the patriarchy isn't like a force of the universe like gravity that operates invisibly and omnipresently it happens through interactions that we have the ability to influence and and, and move in and this is what he's talking about is he's pushing it back onto like yeah so insecurity is one of like the big male insecurity is one of the big like driving elements of fascism this is one of the reasons why we yeah, have i know but like what creates that male insecurity what systems are in place how do we like actually fix those problems it's not going to fucking pro Ugh. this narrative of like big dick black guy is gonna fuck our white women that goes back hundreds of years uh sometimes when slaves would escape from the antebellum south when they were caught uh they were hanged of course but they would be castrated beforehand 
because the idea was that the primal sexual wiles of the black man would lead them to either rape or, or worse, entice white women. Now, obviously, everything that I just said is f the idea that, like, an escaped slave would, which, like, uh, like, the first thought that a white guy thinks is like, oh, they're going after white women? What the f are you talking about? They just escaped slavery. What the He's going for a f bath. What the f are you talking He's going to get a f What are you talking about? He needs to find shoes. His his feet hurt. What do you, why? <laughs> but 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 of the these white guys like sweating profusely are like, oh, I bet I bet he's I bet he's going to do the mating press on some white women. I I bet his virile black seed. This is because um one of the ways white supremacy was propagated back in those days was by appealing to white male insecurity, right? But that insecurity is a product of social pressures that we can kind of like intercept, right? Like think about the modern day today. A ton of people who are driven to incel ideology do so because they like they get kind of like black pilled by this hypergamy myth this idea that like well nobody's even also we should probably keep in mind as well that like parts of the parts of the uh, alt-right pipeline idea have been kind of been debunked by like subse subsequent um studies like it doesn't tend to work that way what what does tend to happen is that communities get created around alt-right topics and people who are more likely to have those particular views in the first place collect and it creates a bigger problem through the ability for these communities to function and to create movements around it doesn't really affect us as bad when these things are not like allowed to create communities that's the problem with the alt-right, is that these communities are allowed to exist. The most effective solution is to shut down the ability of people who create these communities from being able to create these communities. That is the most effective praxis. That's the quickest and easiest way to shut down these things, because when they don't have communities, they don't fester, they don't create uh, martyrs, they don't, like, play on each other's insecurities to go drive themselves deeper and deeper into this black pill logic. If these communities didn't exist in the first place, there wouldn't be these problems. Um, <clears throat> and... I'm sorry. I can tell you this from experience. That praising your abuser when they're not abusing you, doesn't stop them from abusing you. Doesn't stop the abuse. It doesn't solve the problem. Do you know what does solve the problem? Cutting them out of your fucking life. Having sex anymore because all the women are having sex with all the high-value men or whatever. Which is meant to, like, make them feel despair because they can't compete or keep up or whatever. Stuff like that. And that's like the black pill, like, oh, if you don't look, like, six foot five with a ten-inch penis, then you're, you're like, that kind of stuff. Those systems of political belief. Does Joel even disagree with this? No. Uh, not necessarily. Again, I'm not really trying to disagree with Joel here. I just, I just think this stuff needs to be said, you know? Are young men flocking to conservative movements because of some uh, deficiency in leftist advice? I absolutely believe that's true. I do. That's obviously not 100%. Prove it! I think we're hardcore dropping on the ball on this, and we have for a Well, that's time. it. That's it. And, and Happy Puritan, based on what we know about the, um, and based on what uh, what the studies that have gone into play when it comes to de-radicalization, we know that it is inconclusive. There is no evidence that you can de-radicalize people and that is an effective form of praxis. That, that is what we know scientifically right now. What we do know is that when communities are created around hate, they are able to organize, <clears throat> they are able to um, collate finances, and they are able to do real-world damage. So, the most effective thing to do is cancel culture. Soz, not soz. Use it and abuse it. Time. For, for multiple decades now, the message from everyone outside of the left is that the left hates masculinity? They want to emasculate all men. And hey, uh, if you think I'm wrong, look look at all look at how um, popular and famous all of the um, the minority leftist creators that Vorsch's um, sent his community to uh, uh, harass and abuse. Uh, look at look at how much work they're doing right now compared to Vorsch. Look at how well they're doing. Oh, huh. 
uh, uh, there are a bunch of like female supremacist like weirdos who are too stilted to understand basic social interactions. The consistent. Yeah, yeah. He's arguing to that with he's arguing about that without having any proof about that, which is obviously false. Like as I showed before, there's many like very popular leftist creators that appeal to young men and show like positive pop masculine messages to them that they're out there you're not looking for see of this narrative should give pause to anyone thinking that there's no truth to it at all or does it come down more to the fact well i mean like Vosh, there is no proof to what you just said You are making claims about the left giving dog shit advice without proving it. Like, literally, his argument was like... His argument for all of this was he saw a tweet one day which, which he disagreed with. That's it. He didn't even show the tweet. <laughs> that they were born in conservative households, told to believe conservative things growing... Again, Happy Puritan, you're absolutely correct. Left-wing content creators are secondary. A uh, political community isn't going to be led by streamers. No, no, like that doesn't offend me at all. I'm an I'm a fucking entertainer. Little Joel is a fucking entertainer. Vosh is fucking entertainment. If you are getting your political p opinions from entertainment and nothing else, then you're not going to be able to function politically in society. Like this, watching me is not praxis. It's not. Is really not, it's not gonna do fuck all. Your opinions come from the Bible! Well, what if we told them to believe other things? I mean, we can't rewrite reality here, obviously. We can't, like, warp time to make it so everyone only gets left messaging, but we can do our, we can do our part. Okay. Well, I mean, yeah, people on the left are doing that. Bosh. I don't know, this is just some bullshit. Major fans, uh, and who are their parents? Who did their parents vote for in the last election? I, this, is, this is a question without an answer. I don't like this. Whoever their parents are, that doesn't mean more can't be done. Also, by the way, worth pointing yes, out... Yes, it does. Yes, it does. It does, like, because the environment you... You literally just explained how social thing, how social like pressures work, or you thought you you talked about social pressures, but I don't think you understand where those social pressures come from. You fucking idiot! Oh my gosh! <sighs> these people, these people, and Vorsch is probably the biggest like has the biggest fucking ego, and amongst these people, he actually thinks that he makes a difference in the world. And people will be like, oh, you know, you know, donations, donations, donations. If you think that NGOs are going to save the world, I've got a fucking, I've got a bridge to Tasmania that I, that I want to sell you. Andrew Tate's fans. I've got, I've got a rabbit proof fence to sell you. Are like incredibly insecure, young, mostly white, but not necessarily white guys. I would be willing to bet that there are tons of Andrew Tate fans with liberal parents. Like, yeah, I don't, I don't want to descend into essentialism here. I, I don't want to, like, it's, it's like, ah, well, we couldn't have done anything. Yes, we could have. We always can. We always can. Never tell yourself, like, oh, this was predetermined. No, we can always try harder. People do like, do believe in an ideology uh, that calls for suppressing others. Suppress I mean, like, coming from someone who finds it hard not to abuse animals and, and uh, watch Lolicon uh, and be a Lolicon, like, you know. Maybe maybe you should, like, show us an example of trying harder to not be a fucking creep. My gosh. I'm not going to watch the whole whole lot of this, because, like, this is just going to go around in circles. But, yeah, you can understand that, like, I, I don't like Vosh at all. I don't like his message. I don't like, um... I don't like the way that he creates content by basically attacking anyone that disagrees with you. When can you show me creationist stuff? Oh my gosh. Happy Puritan, you don't believe in creationism either. Don't try and debate me. Seriously, how the left made... Wait. That was the video that I just watched? That was the video I just watched? Hold on a second. I, I just... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. left to do my work not free of criticism but i 
Okay, so this is this is um this is when um that when uh uh let's let's just let's just at least with yeah. regards to the bolstering turf arguments, that kind of stuff. But like it's the usual Actually, her position was like the really standard, like woke scoldy kind of one where like, you know, if you're white or you're cis, you should shut up and listen to people, you know, and their lived experiences. Now, in my experience, this is abuser language. It's often used by people with abusive attitudes um, towards, I guess, their advocacy. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this. Like he basically um, made the claim, ba ma ma basically told his audience that Cat uh, Black was being um, an abusive person. For social justice and gatekeeping, because... Um, it basically means like the quality of the argument doesn't matter. We're just going to bully the shit out of you, you know? So I was like, okay, let me listen to minorities, all right? I'm going to take my trans positions from Blair White. Have you heard of this guy called Jesse Lee Peterson? I'm now taking my race positions from him. I'm listening to minorities. And what I was hoping she would do is respond, obviously rebuking my silly, silly, you know, behavior and say something like, no, obviously, you know, listen to the trans people with the better arguments. And yeah, like if, if it came to like, honestly, I'm on, I said this before and I said that say, and I'll say this again as many times as it takes, I will take, um, Jesse Lee Peterson. I will, I will listen to Jesse Lee Peterson's, uh, view of, uh, like what I will listen to him and his lived experience about being a black man in America over Vorsch's opinions of what it's like being a black man in America um any day of the week i don't give a shit about what Vorsch says about what it's like to be black in america because like who gives a shit now uh, i can listen to jesse lee peterson and i can disagree with him but the fact is that his lived experience as a black man is more valuable to listen to than this fuckhead and the fact that he doesn't understand that is fucking hilarious like, this is just, in a nutshell, how he responds to anyone disagreeing with him. Now, he'll use things, <clears throat> he'll use uh, uh, people like Blair White and um, Jesse Lee Peterson and Candace Owens as examples of people that he disagrees with and says, well, it's okay to disagree with these people, right? But he treats people like Cat Black and Professor F Professor Flowers and other minority content creators the same way he treats people like Jesse Lee Peterson and Candace Owens, and that's the fucking problem. But yeah, <sighs> and honestly, like you don't have to like having a conversation with Candace Owens about race would be actually be a really interesting conversation like that like would be really interesting and hopefully eye-opening as to why she became such a fucking shill and it'd be more interesting than listening to v v Vush Vushar's uh fucking opinions about like who he disagrees with and whether she's schizophrenic or not like uh, am I wrong? Like, would that not be interest? Would you be? Would you not be more interested in watching? Would it might not be more entertaining to watch a video uh, from Candace Owens talking about her um, upbringing? Like, because the the history of Candace Owens actually is quite interesting. When you when you realize that she kind of went from being a lib to like a full on right wing uh, shill job, like she she what she was like fucking treated like shit and silenced for her views and uh she w wanted to like basically create a uh, doxing machine and in response to that which is obviously i definitely disavow posting the um the full names and uh, locations of any nazis um where anyone can find them you know i definitely think disavow the idea of that disavow it's definitely not a good thing to do but yeah um i can learn more about the experience of her experience as a black person coming to those con co conclusions i can learn more about how um the intersection of being a woman and being black factored into the decision seat she made as a black woman uh to become a uh, right-wing fucking shill um rather than watch a video um by Vush about how uh, much she, how much he disagrees with her and how schizophrenic she is like, I don't know. 
I'm going. I, I, I must be crazy, apparently. Have I ever looked into this Afrocentric right? Well, I mean, like, see, that shit is interesting. And I think I can get a much better perspective on, like, people that I disagree with from listening to that. And it doesn't require me to, like, talk down to minorities. Because if Vorsch disagrees with Candace Owens, right, and, like, tweets at her and says, you're wrong, oh, boo fucking who? Like, what, what, what is that going to do? She's still going to get paid. She's still got the bank. Like, she's got security. She's, she's in a good position. Doesn't matter. If he does the same to someone like Cat Black or Professor Flowers, right? Um, I'm just not, not sure you'd agree with some of their stuff. Like, the thing isn't, the point isn't whether I agree or not. It's about the fact that that there is there are lived experience there experiences there to be learnt from whether they um whether I agree with their opinions in the now or not. You know? Like I hate um billionaires, but it's very um it, it's a very eye opening uh thing to look into the way billionaires are made and uh, how that those systems affected them and think about things in those terms like i could learn more about the black experience from candace owens than i ever could from watching vosh and i don't know why that's a controversial thing to say and this fucking exploded to into him like just of only having the positions that i have because I'm not listening. No, I listen. And people say this all the time that you disagree with, don't they? Like, how many times have we heard out people who were just wrong and they were like, even Bitch, you don't even know how to fucking read a tweet. Mama did this last night, people. Um, this is this what happens every time we disagree with other people on the left. They accuse me of not hearing them out. This happens every time, no matter how bad their arguments are. Um, uh, so anyway. Um, oh, maybe your tweet at JK just didn't land the way you wanted. A little condescending, but right. okay, fine, it happens. But why get so defensive about reasonable criticism? So the issue that I have here. I agree with you, but it's is that you didn't get cr cr congratulated as the white cishet male um, savior? Is this really a hill that's necessary to die on? You can get banned too. Um, you would never say this if. Oh this yeah, that's right. He just banned um, anyone who disagreed with him in his chat as well. Constantly, this entire wasn't stream people was on the fucking left hilarious. That you didn't like. We've done this dozens of times. That's not an exaggeration. Dozens of times. The answer is this: always, forever, for all time. I will. Ban everyone. Die on every single hill. Every single hill. Every time I believe something. As long as anyone disagrees with me on it, I will sacrifice everything to continue pushing for that point. That is Very why I am where I am. And that is also, by the way, why you guys respect me. It's my whole fucking career. Do you have any idea how different I would be if I ceded to peer pressure every time the left disagreed with me on stuff? Very it's, like, it's like you don't even like what if you just want progressive commentary there are loads of channels loads of why would i start now what because contra because i like contra and respect her more than anyone else in this hell space no not even that will get me um tempting but no listen this is a good advice Votimus, she doesn't know what my point is that's the point of my point um it wouldn't matter what argument she gave she doesn't know what i believe why would she move in on this you know vosh any regrets none whatsoever I, I regret only that I could, um, that at no point during my life have I been as much of a coward as half the people watching right now, so I can't sympathize with you when you, uh, pussy out of your, uh, principles, um, and, uh, and change your position. And this is what I mean. Pressure. Okay. My, I, so, speaking of like, people- so, like, it's not about peer pressure, dude, it's about, like, people actually providing good arguments against you and you, like, saying that you're right. It's just- Different lived experiences? Okay. I only wish I was capable of understanding what's wrong with you. Um, but I can't. I was simply born infinitely confident. That's not true. It's a little bit true, um, but not in the way that it is true today. It's, it was true in a different way. Um, but, you know, it's, it's funny to pretend. I appreciate your resilience, but this is friendly fire that'll do more damage than it's worth. That right there is a peer pressure argument. Don't speak up. Don't defend yourself when attacked. Defending yourself is only going to cause trouble. Let's get to the Rolling fucking... When the content of the video doesn't agree with that title, it's clickbait. And also, I went into her DMs and explicitly told her that the misogyny can be criticized. That was the first thing that I said. You're, you guys are like, well, the reason she keeps insisting this is because the title of the video, the first thing I said was, it isn't about that, that's worthy of criticism. 
She ignored that. She didn't read it. So because... do we now have an inline? Oh, we do. <gasps> Thank you, Yahweh. God, we've already looked through so much. Okay. Now we're back where we were. Right. So, wait, hold on. Vosh, I agree with you, but you make it too easy for people to attack you with titles like that. If you think people would stop attacking me if I didn't make titles like that, then you're as delusional as the people who think TERFs would stop attacking trans people if people on the left stopped engaging in ironic misogyny. Trust me. They don't care. Yeah. I don't know. The, 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 this uh, thing, like... We're, like... Wilson, give us a better understanding of the ethics involved. If you're really unwilling to answer a yes... Like, in your imagination, do you think I'd celebrate somebody like Dan Olson saying that women need to shut up? She literally can't. Like, her only... She cannot move off the misogyny thing. She can't move off of it. Because, just to be clear, if he said that, I would similarly dismiss him, even if understanding his joke was ironic. Because I don't like misogyny, regardless of who expresses it. Keep in mind, she typed all that before I could even get out this message. She typed so quickly. If Shapiro attacked a black man, and black culture broadly, because that man sang some misogynistic stuff, I would realize there's a time and place for nuanced criticism, and a time and place for realizing you have to stand against the broader problem. And I sure as hell would never say, oh no, by saying you fuck bitches, you're giving Shapiro ammunition for how black culture is bad and toxic. Christ. Like, right? Would you guys do this? Like, I, I think, I'm pretty sure that if I did this, I would be called racist. Like, if, if, a, if, a, like, if a progressive black YouTuber, like, drop the SoundCloud thing, if he just said, like, hey, Candace Owens is a bitch, or like, you know, Marjorie Taylor Greene is a bitch. That is misogynistic. And if Marjorie Taylor Greene decided to cry bully over it, and I was like, we need to talk about the misogyny on the left. Look at this person who called Marjorie Taylor Greene a bitch. Like, I feel like people would realize that I was in the wrong there, but... Well. Yeah, see, like, all he does is stick to principles and morality instead of uh, considering the material reality of these issues. And then she responds. Highly inappropriate to just drop that unprompted for something... She typed out an actual, literal, 100 tweet thread. An actual, explicit, literal, 100 tweet thread. Somebody link the tweet thread. I don't want to go through her tweets. I know she tweets every 30 seconds. Wait, she was shopping and tweeting? No, I was shopping and tweeting. I was at Trader Joe's. As I check my notifications. Known by basically everyone in the online left at this point. And instead, what was the response? Deafening silence followed up by a sudden and very fastidious interest in critiquing very light-handed, ironic bigotry. Jesus. I legitimately believe that a lot of these fucks on Twitter, like the, a lot of these woke school types, would rather be led to a camp and shot in the back of the head than like, you know, get, like, let, like, give me any credit to help them. You know what I mean? Like anything to avoid. That's fine, Happy Period. I'm just trying to find the bits where the, the bits that uh, I found, like, it's just, there is so much in Giving me in credit here. for anything, you know? It's like the entire thing was him ridiculous. just doubling I down. I was reminded of that during the Charlie Kirk shit as well. All right. We gotta end this. I ask, wait, so which minorities do I listen to? She says, I know you're joking about this, but I think real point. The real point of my tweet, the real point of criticism of J.K. Rowling broadly, is that she's a stupid, dumb, transphobic bitch. A salient point if there ever was one. But she wants to distract from this, you see, by hyperfixating on the ammunition she's given. And keep in mind, she will literally quote tweet Basically, two he told her to get, told J.K. Rowling to get back in the kitchen. Follow trans accounts, you know. It's not like, it's not like she was like, you know, starving for something to get angry over before this. I just happened to be the biggest and the coolest person to screenshot that day. Um, but in, in terms of how you engage with it, what MO you give, I think there's a, a, a deep comparison here. Chat, do you understand what I'm saying here? It's not that BLM and being, you know, and, and, and JK Rowling or being misogynist or whatever, like it's not that all these are the same. It's just the decision to not let conservatives hyperfixate on the optically bad element and instead to choose to sort of acknowledge it, but mostly focus on the real point, you know? Because conservatives are incentivized to always hyperfixate on anything, anything they can use to bolster their point. We have to make the choice to look past it, to be fair, reasonable. Yeah, imagine, know? like, imagine streaming for, like, seven hours on this tweet shit. Seven fucking hours. I've, I've switched to, like, three and a half hours into this shit. Are people on the left sexist? Are people on the left racist? Have trans women sexually assaulted cis women? It's probably happened at least once. But if some cry bully fucking transphobe bitch got on YouTube and talked about how this, you know, one instance of a trans woman sexually assaulting a cis woman was so indicative, such a problem. And then what am I to do? I look at that and go, oh, well, that was, oh man, that was really, really bad. You know, and meanwhile, the YouTuber is like, and this is why all trans women are dangerous and blah, blah, blah. And meanwhile, I'm just going, ah, oh, so, so bad that that. Basically, okay, here's the material results of this this whole thing. Um, J.K. Rowling was ignored, and uh, basically he sent his followers to attack uh, trans women who disagreed with him.
That that's that's the main fucking takeaway from this. Like Cat Black and uh, Culture Points received so much fucking hate, death threats, vitriol from his fa- him and his fans, right? And he directed them to do this. He told them to harass ContraPoints into um, apologizing for the tweet. Like, if you don't believe me, you can watch this stream yourself. It's a fucking shit show. The whole thing is him, like, complaining about it. Seven fucking hours of him being a bitch. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's finish this up with something interesting. I, want, I really hope that this is going to actually be good. The wildest political moments of 2022, as according to the Washington Post. What, you, what, you, what did I say? If they win, I should get all the credit. And if they lose, oh, I should not be how... blamed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's him talking about um, the Republican Party. That was fucking hilarious. I said I would have punched him out, I would have gone to jail, and I would have been happy. Supported by about a thousand pieces of evidence. Mm-hmm. I happen to have it in my bedroom. All these athletes dropping dead. How many AR-15s do you think Jesus would have had? Well, he didn't have enough to keep his government from killing him. American Christians just hit different. <laughs> Y'all Americans and your Christianity. Like, that just hits different. Sorry. Nancy Pelosi's gazpacho <laughs> police. $20 for crudite, and this doesn't include the tequila. Pour yourself a vodka. The MDMA was oh. really pure. Call a crackhead. I had a nice lunch at Taco <laughs> Bell. Cost me about $28. There was ketchup dripping down the wall. My father's a very, very neat guy. He loved looking at my body. It was so strong, powerful. He's got BDE. Anybody know what that means? Carrie Lake's piece of shit. He then uh, told me to kiss his ass. Sir, kiss my ass. Shady is kissing my ass. Kiss her honey. Maybe I put it another way. You're a bunch of pussies. Up yours, woke moralist. What a stupid son of a No one can buy it. Yeah, I got This is your country, dude. Get the French to give fucking money. These mother lived at two. What the fuck? What the fuck was that? Was that fucking... Was that Elton John? What a stupid son of a No one What the fuck was that about? Get the French Get the French To give fucking money To give fucking money, I hope he was talking about Heidi Lived at 200 Bull Get the fuck out of New York Holy macro folks, how about that? The N word And he's constantly using it, the nuclear word The Carters of power Or are there Power Carters. J.D. Mandel. Fabulous. Treacherous. It's an alliance with the Republic of North Korea. The significance of the passage of time. So when you think about it, there is great significance to the passage of time. That is an interesting reading in English. White supremacy, which, you know, I condone. I mean, I, I condemn. The br- <laughs> what the fuck is that in the Brown background? Brown M&M has, quote, transitioned to lower block heels. What the I fuck? The what the Brown fuck was M&M that? Why is that the thing? Why is that? What? Now, what the fuck? Transition to lower block heels. Also less sexy. Oh do my gosh. A- I fucking remember that. Do you, do, you all rem- do you all remember when, um, you remember like earlier this year, right? It happened this year. M&M's, um, was under fire because, um, their parent company, um, you, is using slave labor in like, um, West Africa. And it was a big scandal. I don't know if you remember it. And so what, what they did was, is they uh, changed the, the shoes on one of the M&Ms and people um, had a shit show over that and forgot about the child slavery. And maybe the orange M&M is a secret sexist himself. No, 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 I don't like that. I don't like, like, shut the hell up. Not Which is it. testicle tanning. It's testicle tanning. I claim time in opposition, although I am not opposed. For not a cult. I'm like Ricky Bobby. I don't come to lose. Work with many police officers. I'm not just a dog now, I'm a bear. He just now opened up uh, a can of a bear. A werewolf can kill a vampire, did you know that? I was good at decided to float over to China. Bad at Everybody flew over to wherever they flew over. He was my president and he was my friend. This is a lie and it's not a lie. Uh, a liar, there's a by the way. Are all of them a lie or you're the liar? <laughs> Why did Dr. Oz lose 
Well, it looks like, according to the exit polling, it's because Fetterman won. I heard that. <laughs> what? That Brett Baer said that, which is obviously strange. Yay. Barbara, thank you. I'm Please clap. I represented Madison County in Congress for many years. And Andrea. It's nice to see you. What do I say? Governor, where's your mask? It's, well, we're, we're, all, we're all making choices today. Uh, what am I going to do alone? Breathe the room, buddy! You do not have to wear those masks. <laughs> I mean, please take them off. I'm not working one minute for this. They're missing the they're missing the guy who like confronted Tucker Carlson in the in the like country store in the country store. This guy who I just declared was completely incompetent. And if you then allow ice fishing with shanties, then that leads to another problem: prostitution. I got that. I love Venn diagrams. Venn diagrams. Here's my Venn diagram. Oh. She's a social climber. If you call that social, raise your hand if you love a yellow school bus. I gotta tell you, I'm, I'm driving a Ford. And our president. Rolls 90 minutes late, like a baller on vacation. Oof, sigh of relief. I could, you know, drop dead tomorrow. A wholly unjustified invasion of Iraq. I declassified everything. It's not like, whoa. I'm done with you right now. Ah, 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 ah. Lots of luck on his trip to the moon. Good day! Turn the camera off. Very dishonest. I guess Amazing. I wasn't supposed to start this off, was I? I tell you what I really want to watch um, is uh, I wish I could react to it is the new Andrew Callahan uh, series on HBO. Come to think of it, amazing democracy dies in darkness. Fuck off. Fuck off, Bezos. Oh well, you know what? I think that's going to be it for today. Eleven, eleven. Uh, I'm tired. I need to work. So yeah, thank you for watching and until next time take care of yourself take care of yourself and um take care of someone else and yeah i'll be back tomorrow with i guess cyberpunk because i ended up getting it so we're gonna play some cyberpunk tomorrow um yeah sounds good and um yeah uh debate might happen next week so keep tuned for that if you're oh happy puritan you might actually like this one um it's talking about sex work so uh, that might be an interesting one for you to tune into and disagree with uh, everything i say all right so uh yeah i shall catch y'all later bye bye